What's up, everybody? Happy New Year, and welcome to Clown Live! Yo, it's January 1st, and we are here to do a great show today. I've got a very ambitious show planned for y'all today. Uh, I knew I forgot to open one thing before the show started here. Uh, it's this bad boy here. Boom. Okay. Yo, what's up, everybody? You are watching Clown Live, an Amazon Live interactive shopping experience presented to you by Shopping Dragons. What up, though? It's me. Dragon Blaker. You can call me Blake. You can call me whatever you like. But today, it's January 1st. Like I said a moment ago, I've got a super ambitious show planned. We've got Mima. Look, we got Mima over here today. Check this out. Yeah, it is a little bit kind of blurry when we start the thing. But once we let the camera sit for a minute, it does kind of pick up in quality. So hopefully we don't have too many quality issues. Uh, there's Mima, everybody. Look, we got a whole thing planned on the show today. Uh, let's switch back to my camera now. And uh, yeah, so we got a whole thing. That's good, Booty. You can sit now for the time. Um, yeah, that's you. Yeah, the camera doesn't look too bad. We're using StreamYard today, and we have multiple cameras connected to the account. And I know in the past on the older computer, it didn't look the hottest, but I know that uh, we're going to try to make it work right for us today. So without further ado, let's greet everybody in the chat and then we'll talk about some giveaways and then we're going to talk about some products. And we got a kind of a different uh, format to the show today. Not only do we have this ambitious setup in the kitchen, but also we're going to look at our B-roll videos first so that we don't have to be so concerned with time in the kitchen when we get in there. OK, now let's take a look at the chat. Uh, yo, happy new year to the 12 people watching. What's up, Jennifer Lude? Happy new year to you. What's up, Rover? Happy new year to you as well. Uh, Samantha Guevara, happy new year, Blake. She says, thank you so much. Happy new year to you as well. Okay. And, uh, and also uh, under Jennifer Lude, I see Hefe in the chat saying happy new year. Hey, I see you added some new emoticons. Um, I don't know what the bird is because my emotes are a little bit small, but is it doves? Is it a pea? Is it a turtle dove? Is it a dove and peace on earth? Very festive. Thank you, Hefe, for joining. Happy New Year to you as well. Charles T., hello. Happy New Year. Thank you for joining us today. Cool Shopper, Happy New Year. Also to you as well. Thank you for joining us. I hope that you had a great night last night. I, once again, chose to spend my time offline with Mima. We watched the ball drop in New York on our Fire TV Stick 4K. And also we watched a Canadian thing at the same time. So it was a good time. We had just two friends over and uh, 
we filled our bellies with so much food. We went to the buffet and then we came home and we had pie and ice cream. And uh, it was the best time. It was the best time hanging out with our friends. Uh, Mima had been gone, like y'all know, for a week. So we just got it in with the homies. And it was a really good time last night. Uh, I hope you all had a great time last night as well. Okay, whether you were here on Amazon Live or whether you were hanging with some friends and family or a hybrid of both, uh, let me know. Let me know if you're so inclined what you did last night. And with that, with that, uh, we're going to sit down. It's time to sit down. We're going to sit down and do the B roll. Uh, yeah, and that's where we're at. Kind of like starting backwards today, huh? So let's pull this uh, software up here and give me one of these. One of these. That's not too bad. That's not too bad, huh? There we go. Okay. Uh, I'm just like slightly ill prepared for the beginning of the show. I need to share my screen and get my um, get my uh, share in order. I just got to get my screen share in order. Let's do that now. <clears throat> okay. Let's share my screen and let's share this screen with this audio. And that should be good. Heck yeah, it's good. Okay, cool. And well, let's give him one of these and one of these. And yo, you know what the B-roll? Let's blast through the B-roll because I'm so excited. Yo, uh, I'll spoil it for you right now today. We got carnitas in the slow cooker. So we're going to have some pork. We're going to make some little tacos. We're going to make some fresh pico de gallo on the show today. And, uh, and I think we got some other stuff planned as well. Uh, oh, you know what? We started talking about the, the, uh, the products. I totally forgot to talk about the giveaways. We can talk about the giveaways first. No problem. Yo, welcome to Clown Live and Amazon Live Interactive Shopping Experience presented to you by Shopping Dragons. Okay. We are doing a $5 Amazon gift card giveaway here to celebrate January 1st. We're also going to be doing another product giveaway on the show. So stay tuned for all of that. Our resident moderator, uh, USS Rover, is definitely, definitely the man to be paying attention to in regard to getting entered the roll call for the giveaway today. However, don't forget that if you haven't, head over to shoppingdragons.com slash win and, uh, and enter the form there so that... Uh, so that we have your email on file if you enter the form, okay? We need to send the money somewhere, and we can't send it to somebody who hasn't entered our uh, Gleam giveaway form. But we don't select the winner from Gleam. We just take the names there. Please fill out the form uh, with your email address. Also, uh, help our social media reach by following the other uh, suggested instructions on that form. Just go get entered. That's what I'm trying to say. Go there. Get entered. Come back here. We're going to do a clown race. We're going to pick a $5 Amazon gift card winner. And uh, we got a prize product. We're going to do a product giveaway today as well. So stay tuned for that. I think it's going to be more either near the end of the show, both giveaways, or um, or uh, maybe during the show. I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But definitely ask these two giveaways today this year. Uh, to the, Excuse me. Let, me. let me say that again. At least two giveaways, one gift card and one product giveaway on today's show. That's happening. You can't stop it, okay? Even if you wanted to, we're giving away everything. Uh, if it's not bolted down, you get it. Okay, uh, jokes aside, that is the $5 Amazon gift card giveaway spiel for today's episode of Clown Live. Also, Shopping Dragons has got into a collaboration with Vast.gg. Vast is big, y'all. They got millions of eyes on the prize you know what i'm saying and uh I, i'm super happy to be a part of a team that has that is currently collaborating with vast.gg dragon blogger tech and entertainment and vast.gg are proud to announce to you that they are holding a steam um deck giveaway a steam deck giveaway on vast.gg that dragon blogger collab is happening now it started on december 16th and it's going to end on january 15th we're gonna forego showing the page today okay get the link rover will probably put it in the link it looks like he already has put the uh the link in the chat thank you rover oh you guys are doing a quest too they're giving away a quest too as well yo Dragon Blogger, don't stop. I got to get an active list of giveaways and so that we can talk about every single one of them. But it looks like Dragon Blogger is giving away a quest as well. So go get entered for the Steam Deck through the Vast.gg link. Go get entered at DragonBlogger.com to win that uh, quest too. Uh, and as, as always on Dragon Bloggers, when one giveaway ends, 
a new one begins. And oftentimes, new giveaways begin without old ones even ending. So always a great opportunity to win an awesome prize on Dragon Blogger. Uh, definitely heads up on those contests today. Get entered. There's always, always a chance to win. And uh, yeah, once again, if I neglected to say it previously, okay, if you have already entered for the $5 gift card here on Clown Live in the past, you don't need to do it again. We didn't clear the form. So only if you're new do you need to head over there for that form entry giveaway, okay? And I think that is it for the giveaways. We got the quest. We got uh, – there's a win 100 going on. Shopping Dragons is hosting a win 100 right now. I don't think that's accurate, is it? Are we doing a $100 gift card giveaway that I don't even know about right now? Let's see. I don't think we are. Oh, my gosh. Are we? January 1st. This one just started today. We are doing a $100 gift card giveaway here on Shopping Dragons. I didn't even realize that. That's what I'm saying. I got to get a list of all the current giveaways. Rover, thank you so much for being on top of that. We are also hosting a $100 Amazon gift card or PayPal cash payout giveaway here on Shopping Dragons. And that is going to run for 30 days. It starts today. It's going to end at the end of the month. Go and get entered over there. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I got to enter one time so that I can see the form. But don't worry. If I win, I'm not eligible to win. Looks like I got to visit my store as well. So I have two entries. I have two entries, okay? I have uh, two entries or whatever the amount is. I got 10 entries. There's 5,500 entries currently. Uh, yeah, so what do we see? What do we see? What do we see? We can drag this one over here real quick and take a look at this $100 gift card giveaway. Yeah, absolutely we can. Boom. There's that, okay? And, uh, oh, yeah, there's Mima shot. Okay. So, yeah, look, uh, follow on Shopping Dragons, visit on Dragon Blogger, Twitter stuff, Twitch, st Twitch stuff. Uh, Pinterest things, TikTok stuff. So all the social medias, go get entered. It looks like you can watch and comment on YouTube videos on Shopping Dragons and Dragon Bloggers to get up to 10 additional entries every day. So yeah, and you can get bonus entries for uh, for referrals. So a lot of options there. Thank you, Rover, for letting me know about that. Uh, if Justin told me, I, I forgot or I didn't know. Mic muted, that means wrong tab. So let's go back to the right tab here. Boom, bang, here we are. What up though? $100 Amazon gift card giveaway or PayPal to your bank is happening now. That's happening for the next 30 days. Get entered. And now then with that, with that, let's sit down and talk about some B-roll product giveaways that we got. Uh, not giveaways, not giveaways, sorry. These aren't giveaways. These are just B-roll products that we got. It's time to start the show. Okay, let's start that show. A little bit much there, bud. Okay. Uh, yeah, that looks good. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Okay, now I think that we're ready for sure. Let's start talking about um, I'm too young to suffer from CRS. I'm not sure what CRS is. But I have a lot of holes in my brain what's up robin luker happy new year thanks for saying that five minutes ago jennifer lude said hi mima five uh, seven minutes ago when we were saying hello to everybody do, 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 do. vicky e what's up four minutes ago thanks for hanging out with us brenda haynes happy new year's i'm not a sports fan but go chargers i guess alan debay what's up thanks for hanging out with us can't remember stuff yeah dude dude i suffer from can't remember stuff because i got my brain full of so many product uh product information so i can only remember so much that's why i need a list of, of uh, giveaways and stuff so that i don't forget okay let's keep it popping let's start the show actually popping right now and we're going to talk about the first product that i've got in my carousel this is going to be the uh the efficient line smokeless indoor grill and uh, yeah let's take a look at these b-roll videos together right now shall we I think everything is sharing good here. Let's do it. 
Here we have an indoor smokeless grill. Uh, infrared technology. Says it can do rotisserie chickens, steaks, defrost mode. Let's just get into it. Instruction booklet. Say so it's uh, part of the kitchen setup. It's pretty sturdy. Seems to be good quality. Very good sized cord. Nice and thick. Looks to be rather long. Cord. A little over four foot long. Plenty of reach across your camera tops for that. Ah, a lot of pieces on the, this piece of foam here. What's up, Tammy Bull and Wider? Thanks for joining. Uh, appreciate that follow. You. Don't forget to get entered in our Don't $5 Amazon gift card giveaway. Skewer for your kebabs. You're ready to go. How many does it come with here? One. Two. Three, four, five, and six. Those are six skewers already. Seem to be pretty good quality. What's up, Evans? Happy New Year. Non-magnetic, non so they're either really good stainless or aluminum. I'm going to go on the stainless side. So that will last forever. Assuming it's part of the rotisserie setup. Grill great. Okay, let's jump ahead in this 10-minute video and see where the barbecue is assembled. And it comes with all of these skewers. Let's get this plugged in, turned on a little bit, see if we can walk through a few functions. Okay, you can have your kebabs on the grill like normal, but it's designed so you can shove your kebabs on here and cook them probably really even rotisserie style. So after you load up your skewer with all your veggies, meat, chicken, whatever you decide to shove on here, it's actually loads really easy. Put the front two points in, these two little holes, on his back side. I'm not sure the voice either, Jennifer. I was actually just thinking that myself. Go. All six skewers fit. There we go. So in the bottom of this, you have a nice drip tray and a grate that goes on there. That's what you'd clean up. All the drip ends and grease or whatever you're cooking will fall onto here. And it's kind of neat the way it's designed to. Hey, what's go up, in Travel here. Diva 2? Happy it just New Year. Slides Thanks in for here like so. so, when you need to remove it to clean it, you just simply pull it out and take it to the dishwasher. There's two little hooks on here with holes in it for that grate to go in. So, it sits nice and still, and then you slide it in. All right. All right, we'll walk through some functions real quick. Power button, there we go. Now you want on rotisserie. You hit rotisserie, it starts to spin. It's got a couple presets here. These aren't buttons. You have to hit this and it cycles through all these functions here. We got fries, chicken, it's got a time set here at 60 minutes. I mean, this is pretty cool, right? 15 minutes, you're doing some kebabs. There's a defrost mode, 30 minutes preset. Fish. Hey, what's up, Stargazer? Happy New Year. And Thanks for joining steak. us. Keep thinking those are buttons. Okay, let's keep jumping ahead here in the video and see if there's like some actual cooking on it. We can see. Oh her. yeah, look at that. It'd be spinning nice and even. Here we are at this pork tenderloin 
and it looks and smells delicious. Okay, I'm not going to front. That so looks pretty at. good. Hey, what's up, Randy Dresden? Happy New Year. She is done. I'm going to take this off, put it on a plate. We'll cut into it and see how juicy it turned out. Got the tenderloin off. But before I take this apart to clean, it's obviously pretty easy to clean. This will already be gone. And then we got a drip pan in here that's uh, got the drippings in it. But if you turn this sideways, remember how we put that uh, drip pan in there. And even though it's hot, it comes with an included handle designed to reach in here, hook onto that handle, and pull out your drip pan, even though it is hot. There we are. We got the drip pan out with the drip pan handle. I want to show you how clean it is in there. It is spotless already. It's all stainless steel. So if something does pop or splash, I'll be able to wipe out pretty easily. Here is our finished tenderloin off of the rotisserie. That just, my, I'm just going to cut it. I'm, my mouth is just starving. Oh, look at all that juice come out. Look at all that. I mean, that looks really, really nice good. And really hot, too. Wow. Look at all those juices. Now for the number one. How's it taste? Other than being hot, it is perfect. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. But uh, I got a tender one to eat. Okay, so that is the smokeless indoor grill. Today it is available uh, for $129.99. And this is the efficient line smokeless indoor grill. I like that it's got the skewers, it's got the grill, it's got the rotisserie. So you get a bunch of different options. Uh, and it's uh, it's only $130, bucks, so pretty good. Uh, dripping's great for gravy. We got some drippings on the food that we made today, but we forgot to get flour. So I don't think we're making gravy today. But uh, yeah, let's keep the B-roll going because I'm really excited to get into the kitchen. So we're going to get all this stuff out of the way today uh, real quick. So let's talk about the the uh, the Chefly stand mixer. And again, this is going to be a product that's on deal. It's $129.99 today. It's regular $160 down to $130. So let's take a peek at this six and a half quart tilt head kitchen stand mixer by Chefly. Okay. Welcome everyone, my name is Demetrius and I'm going to be going over this kitchen stand mixer made by Chef Lee. With this mixer, it came in a gloss gray look and it's a six, like I said, 6.5 quart mixer and it go, comes in six speeds and it has a 660 watt tilt head on it. As you can see, that really shiny look and it came all packaged up really nice. You have the mixing bowl right there where you mix up all your cake cooking and all the stuff you need to be doing inside this mixer and to lift this up right here you would just hold that down which it has an arrow pointing to lift it up and it would just lock in place and stay up and then there's your mixing beater right there that you have which that's mainly the one that you'll use to mix stuff up with and you can also mix like mix your eggs up and stuff like that for in the morning. And then you have your splash guard right there too. So another one will be flying out. And then it came with a bag also, as you can see, for storage. And so you won't get any dust or anything like that. And it also has little storage pockets too. One in the front where you can store all your, all your um like your dough hooks and your mixing beater. And then it also has storage on the sides, two little pockets on the sides of it really cool really cool bag really cool product with that i'm going to show you all the accessories that came with it so with the accessories you know you have all these ones right here you have one two three four five six seven seven pieces right there which that's really cool that it came with that really unique and then also that has this suction cups at the bottom so it won't be moving around when you're cooking into 
simply show you how to use this. Like I said, press that down to hold it, and you can let it go and lock in place. To put this piece on as like a U shape, you would simply just slide it up in there, and then you will turn it just like that, and then it's locked in place. And then also, then you can just to put it back down. You can just pull the lever, just down, just like that, and it just locks. Really simple to use and really unique item. So with this right here, the mixing bowl, you will just turn it as an arrow point says to lock. So your mixing bowl won't be going around or feeling all loose and stuff like that. But really cool product, and I really do highly recommend this product. And I think is one of the best stand mixers that I have used. And as you can see, and that's how it twirls. Really simple to use. The speeds are up to six. I think, and it comes in that glossy look for your needs if you like the gray color. Amazing kitchen stand mixer by Chef Lee. I do highly recommend this product. And my name is Demetrius. Thank you. Thank you, Demetrius, for showing us that Chef Lee six and a half quart stand mixer that is on deal today from $160 down to $130. So uh, $129.99 is the deal price. Click through the carousel and learn about more Chef Lee products. And if you see anything in the store that you like, come back here and, and let me know. Uh, let me know what has piqued your interest. But keeping the show flowing, we are going to talk about, I believe, this bamboo drawer organizer next, kitchen drawer organizer. Let's get my thing in gear here. Let's take a look at Mima real quick while we get the next show in order. She's going to be preparing some cheese uh, for the thing that we got popping off here later today. We're going to make some mini tacos on the show. We've been slow cooking carnitas all day. And uh, how's it going over there, dude? Good. Real good? Yeah. Awesome. Okay, let's go back to the show here. And let's take a look at the next product that's highlighted uh, in our carousel. And that's going to be this uh, this bamboo organization drawer, uh, tray for your kitchen drawer. I don't know if you're like me and you have a drawer, kitchen drawer full of your utensils and you're tired of the, the organization mess. As you guys see, we have just random stuff thrown in here. Like we have the food grater and stuff like that. We have all these glass little uh, soup spoons, which are great. I love these Chinese soup spoons. We have a couple ice cream scoopers, of course, just randomly thrown in here. Then my kid has her, you know, Hello Kitty, uh, you know, you know, you know what these are, right? Right? Chopsticks, guys. Hello Kitty chopsticks. I also have, you know, my random watermelon scooper cutter this thing's actually quite cool then i have the old school plastic silverware organization spray this is not cutting it no more by luck we have you guys covered and we have uh several little items so we're going to show you guys this in a second okay like i was saying guys we have you covered this is from dynamic gear this is their kitchen drawer organizer guys this is a seven to nine slot organization tray. What that means is, is you have the seven slots already here, but if you slide these sides out, you will get multiple more slots, which is really cool to fit. Now, guys, this is gonna be about 17 inches long, can go anywhere from 14 inches up to 18 and a half inches or about 19 inches wide. So make sure you measure your drawer. Now I know that it will fit in this drawer just fine, and I'll be able to slide one slot over or half a slot on each side to fit here. So that works great. Now it is fully bamboo, which is cool and awesome. Now, like I said, it's a bamboo design and these slide apart. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna actually pull this out. We're gonna show you guys it organizing this tray. Okay, now that we have the dynamic gear laying in this, guys, this is the seven to nine slot. As you can see, I have it angled on purpose just showing you guys this so you can see the actual slottage. Now I only have the 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 you know the eights out because I can only slide one side in this drawer. So we now have from the normal seven to eight slots. This gives you a wide range of uh, you know placements to put like our spoons, these Chinese spoons in here, guys. Now I kind of okay. Let's watch James fill it out real quick. So they don't slide everywhere. Your large forks it won't fit. You know it'll kind of fit in there if you need and another spatula. So that is the dynamic gear, guys. Seven to nine slot uh, storage expander, bamboo. As you guys see, this actually cleans this up very nice. 
I like the way this cleans this up and fits in here. So if you guys like this video, I hope you do, and I hope you guys all have a great day. Thank you, James, for talking to us about the Dynamic Gear Premium Drawer Organizer today. That has a four-star rating with 9,500, almost almost 9,500 reviews. It's $31.99, and uh, I feel like I could use something like that around the house, a nice drawer organizer. It's not, You know what, though? It's not even that my drawer is unorganized. One of them is badly, but it's not even that my drawer is unorganized. It's that the track is broken on the drawer, so when we try to push it in straight it like skews and it doesn't go in straight uh i need all new kitchen cabinets uh, i wonder if amazon sells kitchen cabinets but yeah the dynamic gear premium bamboo kitchen organization tray is available today with seven or eight slots for 31 here over here 31.99 okay all right, let's keep the B-roll going. Let's check in on Mima while we get that B-roll popping here. And, uh, yeah, how's it going out there, Boot? You just had to shred some cheese up. Yeah, I really What else do you got to do? I think that's it. That's it? Yeah. Just do the cheese today. You look so good oh, with you. the set. Look, can you see yourself here? Yeah, that's you. That's you on the – there were these games – <clears throat> there were these games that I don't know. I, I saw them on Nintendo Wii the most often. I don't know what other systems they were on, but uh, it was the Cooking Mama franchise. And uh, yeah, so we made a show uh, on YouTube a long time ago called Cooking Mima. I wish it looked as good as this. This looks great, eh? But yeah, okay, let's keep the uh, let's keep it going, man. I could look at Mima all day, but we're gonna keep it going here. And we're going to take a look now at the next product in our carousel. And that's going to be the cheese citrus grater. And, uh, yeah, we got this right here. So let's take a look. Here we have the Jerosi citrus zester and cheese grater. So this is a premium quality stainless steel grater that you can use for hard cheeses. You can use it for citrus fruits such as orange zest, lemon zest, uh, lime zest shaving chocolate, shaving some garlic or onion, anything that you want, um, a real fine type of shred. Also gives you the cleaning brush, which is really handy. You have the protective cover and the stainless steel grater. So this is just a slice of Parmesan. And as you can see, it works really well at creating those really, really fine shreds of some of your hard cheeses, and not that look really, really good? It's super sharp, works really well, has the protective sides. Just run your finger along the back and get any of the cheese or the zest that has collected, but it works flawlessly, very easy. Just really, really nice, comfortable, ergonomic grip. So if you're looking for a really um, nice stainless steel zester and cheese grater. Go ahead and check out this one. You also have the cleaning brush to easily clean in between all those little blades and make sure your equipment is completely clean and sanitized after using. Also make sure you, once your zester is fully dry, make sure you put on your protective cover here this will protect your blades and also if you have this sitting in a drawer anybody that reaches in it'll also protect them from getting cut okay so that is the stainless steel cheese grater as well as zester uh with almost five star review it's got uh, 2,296 reviews and it's $10 today, not on deal, but still, you know, if you need to, uh, zest something, 10 bucks is a pretty fair price. I think to pay to make that happen. So let's go back here. Oh, that's the Mima shot. We want the Blake shot. Boom. Okay. So, uh, yeah. So the stainless steel cheese, uh, zester is a shredder and fruit, the fruit zester is available today for $9.97. Okay, let's go to the next thing. What do you got going on over there, Boo? You gonna shred some carnitas? Shred it while it's hot. I guess so. We don't. Yeah, I guess. I mean, we don't let it rest or anything, right? Uh, you just cut it up. I mean, it's just you and me eating it. It's gonna taste the same. Um, I was just gonna shred the whole thing in the juices. Oh, that's a smart move. Is that I, okay? Yeah. 
Okay, let's move on to the next product here in the carousel, and it's going to be this airtight food storage containers. These are on deal. They're 25% off. They have four and a half stars with almost 10,000 reviews. Uh, at 25% off, they're $39.99 today. Let's take a look at these food storage containers, and this is going to be a video presented to us by Dragon Blogger James. James here, and today we're taking a quick look at a new product, guys. This is from VTOP Mart. This is their storage container set. This includes six tall containers, 2.5 quart or 2.8 liter quarts, six large containers, uh, 1.8 or 2.0 liters, or six medium containers, 1.5 quart or 1.6 liters, six small containers, 0.7 quart, 0.8 liters. 24 chalkboard labels and one marker guys. so you have a full kit but let's pop it open and give you guys a look if you guys are like me and you're tired of having bags of sugar just laying around and spilling in the cupboards this is going to be a great option for that plus organizing the rest of your dry foods your pastas and stuff like that so we're going to actually have some fun with this we're going to pop this open and give you guys your first couple looks at this right so the first containers they come out See if I can get this out properly. It's just like this. So they are organized all together, which is cool. Then you come down in here and you have more containers. Now, I'm going to go all the way into the bottom and grab the rest of them, right? Now we have three rows of these. I'm going to show you guys this three rows. So I'm not going to pull them all out, but let's just show you what came in a single row. You have the tall containers. Well, they are tightly squeezed. So here's your tall container. Then you have your lid in this container for all of these. So simple, easy snap lid, right? Let's show you guys this. Simple, easy snap lid with an O-ring all the way around to make it watertight. Yes, you could put liquids in this, guys. Just like that, snap it down. Just like that, snap it down, you're locked in place. That is one tall container. It's actually a nice tall container. You could put spaghetti long ways in this, guys, no problem. Then you have some smalls, and guys, they are packed nice and tight. So just remember, you might have to fight it, but here is your small or 0.8 liter, which is a nice container. Well, where's the lids for? Well, it's all in this big kit here, so we're going to start grabbing some lids out. We'll just grab the lids. So they look all the lids are interchangeable. And that's cool. You don't have to worry about it. So grab a thing, grab a lid. I love that all the lids are right all the on, same right? size. It makes it so just easy like to not have snapped, to. Snapped. I got so many confusing plastic lids in the in the cupboards. And make sure it snaps on all sides. It may be a little snug the first couple snaps, but there you go. It's a small, right? Then you have. Okay, let's take a little bit deeper dive into this video real quick. Size right here. So you have the normal square, just like that. You have little round ones, or you have uh, several other styles. That's really cool. Now we're going to keep it simple with this one right here, right? Now you literally can label this anywhere you want on this container, but I'm going to stick it right on the front side, lay it down just like that. Grab the marker that they give it with, give us with, and then write sugar right on it, right? So now we're labeled. Let it dry. Connection. Easy, simple. Now, will the chalk erase? Of course it's chalk. This will erase. You guys can rewrite on it. Now, again, guys, this is a very large kit. Six tall, six large, six medium, six small, plus all of the label labels, guys. This is from V Top Mart Storage Container Kit. Thanks for checking this video out, guys, and have a great one. Yeah, pretty thanks, James, for the review. Yeah, pretty cool that they have the uh, labels that are like chalk and that you can write on them in chalk and erase it. That's pretty fun. I also love that they're all the same size. Hey, what's up, Margaret? Happy New Year. Thanks for joining. Much clown love. I see you out there. Appreciate you. Yeah, we're going to be doing some giveaways on the show. That's right. We got, uh, we got, um, you got three screenshots of Mima, huh? Be careful. Be careful with that. <clears throat> um, be careful with those screenshots. That's a lot of data. Uh, okay. 
Uh, yeah, what's up, Margaret? And also the airtight food storage containers, they're available today on deal. They're 25% off and they are available for $39.99. Pretty great deal if you're looking for a 24 piece set. So this would be one, two, three, six, 12, 18. So it's a 24 piece set, but it's, it's 24. It's like 48 pieces. Cause you get the lid and the container so i like that they don't advertise the the complete set as two individual pieces so 24 individual containers in a 24 piece set very very awesome uh pretty good deal at 40 bucks today uh you know making it just like i don't know a little over two bucks a little under two bucks a piece okay let's though keep moving on i really want to get into the kitchen with mima and uh we're going to talk about some spatula products next today these are 35 percent off regular 17 dollars today they are on sale for 11 dollars 10.99 for these food grade silicone spatulas let's have james tell us a little bit more about these James here with a quick showcase of a new product. This is from Hotech. This is their food grade silicone revlish spatula set, guys. Did you guys see a nice little set here? Several pieces, and we'll go through each piece. What's up, Leslie? You. Happy New Year. But Thanks for joining these us. Are BPA free, so you have a five set, great high quality silicone. But first, let's show you guys what all comes in this. Now, the first piece, this is considered a jar spatula. This is great for getting into your like your mayonnaise jars, your ketchup jars, your uh mustard jars or whatever else you guys need to get in there and scrape out but this can also be used to help decorate like a cake cake batter you know like anything you guys really need to want if you guys you know this would actually make a great edging piece for decorating cakes so you have one of those the jar spatulas then you have the mini spatula which is kind of cool to have these this is great for the kids or even you if you guys need to just do a little quick little uh usage of it then we have the mini, if I can get this out, it's kind of stuck in the bag from the tape. Okay. This is called a mini spoonula. So it's like a spoon spatula mixture. It's kind of cool. It's concave. Hopefully you guys can kind of see that plus their logo. Very nice that they give you that. Then we have inside here two more pieces. And I'm going to grab these real quick as I can. Well, you have... The large spatula, this is about approximately 10 inches by 2 inches. Nice, good size. Same logo. You guys can hang them if you need. So that's the spatula. And then you have the large spoonula, which is a 2.5 inch by 10.5 inch spoonula. This is good for, like, getting into your uh, fluff or if you guys need bigger scoops of peanut butter or just want to scrape the bowl out to make your cake mix to scrape it out and help get it in this works great. So this is the five piece set guys from Hotec. These are nicely done. Actually have some good weight to them. They don't, they're not flimsy guys. I mean, they got a little give at the tips, which is what you want for a spatula and a spoonula, but the handles are nice and strong. You know, even with the spoonula right here, it's got a flimsy at the tip, but then goes nice and stiff. Great little set. Thanks for checking out this quick little uh, video and have a great one guys. Uh, yeah, so that is the, uh, is it in the fridge? Full stop the show real quick. It is in the fridge, right? We did buy them, right? Okay, cool. Um, yeah, so those are the Hotec spoonulas and spatulas and uh, jar scraper as well. I love the jar scrapers, especially for peanut butters and mayonnaises. Tahinis even would be really good. Anything that grips jam, perhaps. And uh, like James suggested, it would be pretty good at smoothing out a cake. Excuse me, icing, I bet, as well. So today, that is 35% off. Excuse me. Today, that's 35% off, uh, making it $11 down from its regular $17 price point. $10.99 for the Hotec kit today. Uh, click through the carousel and see if uh, Hotec has anything else that is awesome in their store. And let me know if they do. But now we're going to move on to the next product here. Let's take a look at Mima. She is dealing with some. Uh, jalapenos real quick and we're going to get the next video set up here for the uh yeah we just need one jalapeno for the meal that we're making that's right <clears throat> okay so let's get into the uh, next product here i've got it highlighted and this is going to be the grillman heavy duty 12 by 12 non-stick grill pan okay and uh, uh let's see who presents this to us 
So I've used this Grillman recessed nonstick cooking pan for a while now, and I still recommend using tin foil over it, especially to catch any of the juices or for soft foods like portobello mushrooms and shrimp and things like that. We've cooked with it multiple times now, and I haven't had any issues with the nonstick peeling off the well. Seems to be pretty stable. Grilled for quite a bit of time with the mushrooms while the kebabs were going. You could see they softened up well, adjusted on the grill several times. I will say you have to use pot holders if you're going to be picking up the pan and taking it out of the grill because those handles are metal. They'll get just as hot as the pan itself so you can't touch it with your bare hands just use your tongs to adjust it so you can grab it with your pot holders but it does a fantastic job i haven't noticed any issues with any peeling of the non-stick surface on it yet but of course i mostly use aluminum foil with it as well and prevent the food from scraping it so i imagine as long as you're not scraping it with a steel wool or something it should work out just fine so this deep recess pan cooks well great for grilling items that you don't want to fall through or things that might be liquidy or soft and you don't need them falling through your grill Yo, thanks, Justin, for the review on that 12 by 12 nonstick grill. Uh, what do they call it? Grill pan. That seems pretty cool. You know, I see these all the time where I'm where I'm doing my uh, where I'm doing shopping, and I always wonder like, why are the holes so big? What is this good for? I never realized that you could just line it with a little bit of tin foil, and that could be a great assist with one of these. Now, <clears throat> I'm definitely gonna want to get one for the thing. But yo, um. Stargazer says, what is she making? Mima is making carnitas, which is like pork. It's like pulled pork. She made it in the slow cooker today, and it's got some spices on it, so we're going to have some little tacos with it. And soon we're going to head over to the kitchen uh, together uh, with Mima, and we're going to slice up some vegetables together for uh, pico de gallo. We're going to test some knives and make some delicious pico de gallo today. And then we're going to eat some tacos. We're going to make some smoothies on the show. I got a lot planned in the kitchen. So let's keep it going with the uh, with the show here. But yeah, the 12 by 12 nonstick grill pan seems pretty sweet. 18 bucks is a good get. Four star rating on 26 reviews, whatever. Uh, I think that I definitely need to upgrade my grill game and scoop up one of these. This is going to be a, a game changer for barbecues. Okay, let's do this, and then let's get rid of this here and go on to our next product in our carousel. And, uh, yeah, today, like I said, the Grillman 12 by 12 nonstick grill pan is available for $17.99. Let's move on to the next product here, and these are going to be the Michelangelo Hard Anodized Cookware Set. This is good. These are going to be the best nonstick pans. So let's take a look at this $180 set of kitchen pans together right now. So this is my uh, absolutely amazing Michelangelo pots and pan set, and I'm super excited to use it. So as you can see, there's a bunch of different stuff that comes with it. It comes with like these really nice spatula and ladle, a nice small pan, a larger pan that's over here, three different types of pan or pots to boil stuff in, or maybe if I wanted to sear something with a lid because the other um, pans don't have lids. And then it also has this really amazing pot set here that has a steamer attachment that I can put on top if I want it to steam something. I love something. that steamer. That, that, that looks that so cool. Amazing. Now, one thing that I really love about this set is the fact that not only is everything nonstick, but everything also has this really nice blue grip that's really good for heat dispersion and also making sure that you have a grip on the actual pots and pans. And I just absolutely love that every single thing in this set comes with it. Now I'm going to demonstrate the nonstick features and how easy it is to clean on the smaller pan. So let's go ahead and get into that. So I've let my pan heat up a little bit and I've got my trusty spatula with me that was included with this. So I'm going to be using that also, but I have an egg. I'm going to go ahead and crack the egg, season it, and then basically just kind of pan scramble it and um, then clean it and show you guys how it works. So I'm gonna go ahead and crack the egg. I'm gonna put a little seasoning on it. So I got some pepper, put a little bit of that on there, some onion powder, and a little bit of pink Himalayan salt. And then I'm gonna take the spatula and just kind of toss and scramble it around. And there's not putting no oil in here or anything. I'm 
Now, one thing I will say about this, I know it's better to use a plastic spatula in it, but I'm kind of used to a metal one. Um, so this one's just a little bit flimsier, but I mean, with very minimal pressure when the egg is cooking, as you can see, I'm just kind of pushing down a little bit and it's already coming off. On the I mean, I wouldn't want to eat the charred part of the egg, but it really off. is doing a great job. At, yeah, at so there's a little bit of non-stick left, coating. But, um, I'm going to go ahead and eat my egg and then um, basically I'm not going to press any harder to get the stuff that's on the pan off. And so once it cools down, I'll show you the video of me cleaning it. So now that my pan has cooled off, um, this is basically the residue that was kind of left on there after I finished the egg. Um, I didn't scrape it at all. I just simply poured the egg out by, you know, tilting the pan over my plate. So without any water or anything, I'm going to take my, my sponge. It's dry right now and just kind of I'll wipe around it and see how easy the stuff comes off and it's coming off so easy it's still smoking a little bit but everything comes off super easy i'm barely um rubbing with it um and it's coming off. i'm not putting much pressure at all and just look at how without soap or water it just everything just comes off so ultra easy, easy to clean and ultra easy to clean non-stick coating uh you're gonna get uh, two pots with the pan and the pot that also is the steamer as well as some utensils. Today, this Michelangelo nonstick uh, kitchen set is available for $179.99. Now, let's keep it going and look at the next product here without further ado. Let's talk about the Elu Life 13-inch wok and pan with lid, okay? Hello, everyone. Jeff here today and I could not be more excited because I am here to talk to you about this wonderful Elu Life wok. This is an amazing wok. I absolutely love the way it feels in my hand. It's got a little bit of weight to it, but not too much. Okay, Mark so Kelly, like happy new year. Sturdy. Look at the back here. It's got a nice flat bottom. Pretty darn solid. I love the way that sounds. Sounds nice and thick there, so that's great. The wooden handle here is also really awesome. It's a very durable handle. It's also going to help dissipate any heat that comes up towards the handle when you're cooking, so it's going to keep you nice and safe as you cook. And finally, got to talk about the uh, nitride coating on this. I love the nitride coatings on cookware because it's a very healthy alternative to most of the non-stick chemical coatings. Oh, Sheila B., you're not feeling any so better. You're still feeling sick. Version, that sucks. I hope that so you can feel I'm better soon. Not a fun way to kick off the new year. year. And here we go. We have all of our ingredients laid out nicely, and the wok, which is already pre-seasoned, which saved us a couple steps, is preheating. So thanks to the excellent material that this was made with, again, carbon steel, this is going to be a very easy cook job on our induction cooking stovetop, but this wok is made to be able to cook on virtually any type of stove because that material that it's made out of is going to dissipate heat evenly and quickly across the entire surface. So. They designed it very well. All right, half the ingredients are in, stirring it up, and this is pretty awesome. That nonstick surface is working like a charm. And here we go. It is off the burner, and boy, does it look delicious. Browned everything up nice and beautifully, and all the flavors are came perfectly together. I can't wait to eat this. This wok was excellent to cook with. Thanks for watching. The Elu Life Walk is available today for $30.09, and that is a massive deal, y'all. It's $40. 4% off. Regularly, it is going to be $69.99. Today, it's only $39. Okay, so definitely click through the carousel. See if there's any other Elu Life uh, kitchen products that look perfect for the kitchen. Come back and let me know if you see anything in the Elu Life store. But yeah, to add this to your cart today for $39.09, definite, definite get. So let that's what's up. Let's keep it going, though. We're down to our last B-roll video here, and then we're going to start talking about physical products. <coughs> Excuse me, and I'm so stoked to start that. I got a couple behind me, and then we're going to go hang out in the kitchen with Mima, and we're going to make some food and talk about some products. But this is – hey, dude, you should glance over at the uh, at the TV here if you have the ability, and uh, check out this ad that I'm about to play. Check out this trash can 
and and tell me if you like this trash can. But we're going to get a review of the Echo Eco Casa 36 liter and 24 liter hybrid garbage recycling bin with, I believe, motion sensor. So let's take a look at this together right now. James here. Today we're taking a look at the Echo Eco Casa 2 step bin. This is a dual bin trash can, guys. Uh, it is made out of brushed aluminum, uh, walled, uh, with a fingerprint resistant. It is a step style, so if you step on this, the lid will open. Once you let go, the lid will soft close so there is no noise, which is quite cool. Now, inside here, you'll get uh, some bin liners, and since this is a double style uh, trash bin, I'm going to tip it over and kind of show you guys this. Now, this is a bigger one since it is a double. It does have the trash side and the recycling side, which is quite cool. If I press this open and lift it up, you guys will see the dual bins. And if I tip it forward, you guys will see how deep that actually goes. Now, cool part is, is right here, there is this little latch that locks open for you. Now, I can pull the green recycle bin out. Uh, you can add a liner in there if you want, guys. Just that simple, that easy, nice green liner. Now you put it back in, you're good to go. Then you have your trash liner side. You'll pull this out, pull your trash bag out, and you're good to go instantly, easily. Now, since there's liners, guys, I will pull out or try to open this liner bag uh, live. I did not grab a knife to do this, but we should be able to pull it open with no problem. What's up, there Dano? Thanks for joining now, us. Happy New Year, man. Now, it is their bag, so the bag should be perfectly sized for this. It does come with two of these. Now, we will do this. They're actually nice and thick bag. Uh, it does have their logo on the front, of course. Shows you how to line it and everything else. It does have pull strings. Of course, I'm making a lot of noise. Put that in. Put the liner around, guys. Set this inside. Of course, I'm making a little bit of noise. And you're lined up and good to go. Now, you'll probably do a better uh, job at it. Once you're done, you'll pull this out. You'll pull these tie strings just like this. Of course, I'm going to kind of waste this bag to show you guys. Pull the tie strings, come out. Once the tie strings are out, just like that. Tie it shut. And throw your trash away. Unlatch it. Now, the cool part about this big one is, uh, hopefully you guys can kind of see this. I'll bring it a little closer. It's right here. This has an aroma therapy patch hole that you can put something in there to keep it scented so you don't have to smell your trash all the time, which is kind of cool. Uh, click the little latch right here. What's up, Walk badass? It. Happy New Year. Cool. Thanks for joining Shut. us, man. That simple, that easy, guys. That is the Echo Eco Casa 2 uh, dual storage uh, trash bin. I want to thank you for checking this out. Have a great one. Sorry, muted the whole time. I got you. Thank you. Thank you. I see you guys just now. Let me know I'm, I'm muted. I'm unmuted now. And all that I was saying was that I was putting forth the idea, what do you think about doing the B-roll first? Should we start the show and do the B-roll first and then stand up and do all the products? Or is it more better doing what we've done more traditionally, sitting down at the end of the show to do the B-roll? Because even if I stood up at the end of the show and did all the products, a B-roll first and then products, I would still come and sit down to do like the clown race and stuff. And that's not that bad. Hmm. 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 I wonder what I should do. Maybe I should experiment with that. Starting with the B-roll first instead of the products. Really genuinely, if you're listening, let me know what you think. Do what you like. Um, I don't like anything. I'm just playing. I like a lot of stuff. 
uh, whatever works for you, whatever works for you. What do you think, Boot? What do you think is a smart move? Do you think I should sit down to start the show or sit down to end the show? I feel like sitting down to end the show is the right move because then I'm standing up for the whole show and then I can turn one of the studio lights off and sit at the end. I'll experiment with the with the uh, with the format, but I think maybe sitting at the end uh, might be. Since you said do what works for you, I started thinking about it, and that's what I think. I think uh, I think maybe sitting at the end of the show is the right move. Okay, let's keep it going here. We got a couple physical products <clears throat> to talk about on this side of the room. Before we head over to the kitchen, we're gonna make some tacos. We're gonna make some banana peanut butter smoothies, and we're gonna make some other stuff. It's the carnitas with the little taco shells. It's not even the shell. It's the wrap. We're going to make some <laughs> food that we're going to eat, and then we're going to show how knives work by chopping up some fresh pico de gallo on the show to put on the food that we're going to eat, whether it's tacos. What are you calling it? Well, it's, I would think it's like the... Um, it's pork and flour shell. Is it flour or corn it's tortilla? It's a flour. Flour tortilla? So it's soft. Okay, that's cool. Do you want to pan fry them? We'll talk about that when we get to the kitchen. Let's keep the show going right now and talk about the products that are in our thing. Um, well, really. I think sitting at the end is more intimate with the crowd. Yeah, I like that too. I like that too. Alternate between the two for each show. I'm going to experiment with it. I'm going to experiment with it. I'm just going to wash my hands and I can dry it real quick. <clears throat> okay, let's keep the show going. Let's talk about the next product that I've got highlighted in my carousel, and that is going to be the Asus Tough gaming laptop. This is the A15 model, and it comes from 2021. Uh, I see that we're tracking here. Let's stop that real quick. And, uh, yeah, um, well, I'm going to pick up the laptop in just a second here. Seconds up. Let's lift up the laptop right now. So this is the Asus Tough gaming A15 uh, laptop. This is going to be a pretty mid-range, I think, high mid-range uh, laptop PC. This is going to have a, a Ryzen 7 4800 processor in it, as well as 16 gigabytes of RAM, a 512 gigabyte hard drive um, that is uh, SS2 slot. It's an NVMe drive. And in the laptop has an additional slot waiting for another hard drive uh, to be put in it. So that's great. You have a backlit gaming keyboard. Now we don't have a backlit today, but maybe I can precariously balance it and hit the point. Oh, it's just my little fingers are too short. My little fingers are too short to hit both of the buttons at the same time, but we have like a throbbing mode, a pulsating mode, breathing mode and color cycle mode. Uh, so it's a really nice backlit camera. You know, it's a gaming laptop because they have your WASD keys. Uh, in white, and these really shine bright with that RGB backlight. You're going to get a 1080p monitor uh, on this laptop for its native display, as well as a 27p webcam built in the bezel with a microphone array. And um, oh, it's got a bunch of inputs on it. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're kind of like limited on space here, so just bear with me. We have a power port, a Cat5 for Ethernet, your HDMI. Uh, your HDM, this is an Ethernet port. I said Cat5 because that's what I have plugged into mine, a Cat5 cable. But this is your Ethernet port, an HDMI port, two Gen 3 USB-A ports, a USB-C port, as well as a microphone headphone jack. And then on the side that is facing me the closest, a single USB jack, okay? And uh, I use that one for plugging my little... Uh, receiver in for my wireless keyboard here now there's no io on the back it has a very big uh, mouse pad and it's really fast it has an nvidia 3050 laptop gpu in there i've been using it to play minecraft with my friends i don't have any frame drops it's pretty pretty freaking great if you ask me and this is going to run a lot of great games at a lot of good resolutions without frame drops um, I think I got to like update my driver or something on my video card in order to get RTX to work with Minecraft, but, uh, I've been watching some demos on it and it looks pretty flawless. I'm pretty stoked to, uh, play some more, uh, high resolution or more taxing, more, um, more GPU intense games with my friends. I, my last computer was 12 years old, so I'm so stoked to have this new laptop now. And if you're looking for a really decent, 
Um, if you're looking for a really decent uh, gaming laptop, I've been super impressed with the Asus Gaming Tough A15 laptop since I got it. Uh, and it has great expandability with your HDMI port. Now, I know this isn't in my carousel, but I've got a little portable monitor. And look, I'm running one cable to it for power and video. Uh, and I just love those US. I love the USB C port on my Asus Tough A15 gaming laptop. Today, the laptop is available for $969. Uh, not on a deal today. I see everybody's in there doing the. Uh, the roll call, so good on you for doing that. Let's keep it flowing here and talk about the tablet. You want to stand up and model the tablet, and I'll talk about it. You don't have to say much. <clears throat> Let's show Mima. She's got the tablet over here. There, now everybody can see you, booty. So this is the uh, – this is the. Um... Do you want it? So you no, no, I want you to hold it and be part of the show. Would you like to do that? Okay. You do? Okay, cool. So Mima's holding right in front of her apron. It's a little bit hard to see uh, the 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 Amazon Fire HD 10 tablet. This is the latest model, uh, and this is going to be the not pro model. Okay, and the difference between the regular HD Fire 10 and the and the Pro is that the Pro has a plastic. Um, excuse me, the Pro model has a metal back and an extra gigabyte of RAM. But beyond that, they're pretty much the same tablet. It's going to be a 10.1 inch display <clears throat> and it's going to be like connected to it, the Amazon environment, right? So uh, you can actually enable the ability to install third party applications through the tablet's settings very easily and sideload the Google Play Store into this and really unlock a whole plethora of robust features that make the tablet act like a lot of other tablets uh, that, you know, there might be some restrictions in the Amazon App Store because not all of the apps uh, are compatible in the App Store, right? So um, you can do that by sideloading that Google Play Store. Mima loves the tablet. We got it for her in October when um, we got it for her in October when it was prime access deals, early prime access deals. And uh, normally the Fire Amazon HD10 tablet is available for $149.99 like it is today. However, if you add this to your cart, okay, keep an eye on it. The Amazon Fire HD10 tablet goes on sale very often. And uh, you can definitely get this for 50% off. Uh, no problem. What's up, Bonari? Thank you for following us today. Don't forget to get entered into all of our giveaways uh, just above you here in the chat. And uh, yeah, Beebs, what's up with the tablet? You like it? Yeah. It's better. It's bigger than the phone. Yes. It's faster than the phone. Yeah, it's good. It's, I like it. You've been using it since maybe November. And uh, what is there something about it that you like the most? I just like that it's big. You like that it's big? Then, we got the cover for it recently, which is not in our carousel, but the does the cover looks like it makes it easier to grip. Yeah. Better to stand yeah, up and whatnot. I like to do it this way. The uh, and the reason that the cover is really is really a great addition to the Amazon HD10 Fire tablet is because the tablet itself is very lightweight, very smooth to touch, and very lightweight. Now it does have grip; it doesn't feel like you're going to drop it, but it's undeniable that the stand is uh, super helpful. And you can see Mima; she's placing it in a landscape orientation. She also has the ability to place it in portrait mode if she wanted to. So whether you're watching videos or chatting with friends or you need something hands-free, uh, the cover is a great, great addition to the tablet. But to perform all those tasks, you're not going to have any problems. Uh, three gigabytes of built-in RAM. Uh, I'm not sure how fast the processor is. It's got a 10.1-inch screen. It has a camera on the back. It has a camera on the front. And I think that's it. It's pretty much it. Today, the Fire HD 10 is available for $149.99. Thank you, little Biba. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Okay, let's talk about the – Woolrich says, hey, Blake and Mima, what's up? Evan says, hey, Mina, M-I-N-A. <laughs> oh, we got Justin in the chat saying happy New Year all. What's up, Justin? I hope happy that you're doing year. good. Thanks for joining us today. Mima is saying Happy New Year in the background there if you didn't get the opportunity to hear. 
Yeah. What's up, Shelby? If I didn't get the opportunity to greet you earlier, what are we cooking? We have already done the cooking. We're going to do more some food prep when it's time to head over to the kitchen where Mima is. We're going to talk about some knives. We're going to chop some tomatoes and some onions. We're going to make fresh pico de gallo here on Clown Live today. Also, we're going to enjoy the fruits of our labor and eat some delicious food. And we are going to make a dessert. We're going to make some peanut butter banana smoothies. And hopefully that works out well. I never made them before, but I think we got the right ingredients to do. Pretty pretty basic smoothie. Pretty basic smoothie. I think it's going to be good. And, uh, yeah, and then we're going to do some other stuff right at the end of the show here uh, in regard to prepping some food that we want in the house. So let's talk about the – we got one, two, three, four. I got four products left. When we head over – when we reach the flathead straws, that's when I'm headed over to the kitchen. We're going to go over to the kitchen at the Flathead Straws. So let's get these last four products knocked out of the ballpark here. And let's talk about the Soundform Motion Boom Plus. I'm so excited to get in the kitchen. Box stays in the back today. The Anchor Soundcore Motion Boom Plus is available today for $179.99. And this is a really lightweight, ultra-portable Bluetooth speaker that doesn't have a FM receiver in it, but uh, you can connect to it with your Bluetooth device of choice, or you it has a, a three and a half millimeter headphone jack in the back that you can hardline your device to. Okay, this has dual silk. Um, um, these have dual titanium drivers with silk domes, and these are powered drivers uh, and powered tweeters as well. This is going to offer you 80 watts of sound. And to give the Anchor Soundcore Motion Boom Plus that little bit of oomph, uh, there are passive radiator base speakers on the side. Now, these are not powered. They are passive. So the air that is moved by the drivers in the front is what moves the base radiators uh, on the sides. And that's on both sides. You're going to get that. The strap is really nice. It has a sound core insignia uh, printed on it. And the carabiners or, or the or the hooks that connect to the loops, are they match the same color. So I really love that. Uh, it's really good. It's really sleek. It's great for having hands-free uh, operation with uh, with the strap. I love that. The handle is included like it's solid part of the body. And I like that as well. So whether you want to hold it or wear it, uh, uh, Anchor's got you covered in that sense. Now, this works right out of the box. You open up the Soundcore Motion Boom Plus, you turn it on, it instantly jumps into pairing mode. As long as your um, device is discoverable, then it should be no problem to... Um, Connect to your to the to the Soundcore Motion Boom Plus with your phone, basically is what I'm trying to say, and then you can play all your audio through the phone. Now, I don't believe, I do not believe that the Motion Boom Plus has a microphone in it. It's not designed to take calls, okay? Not designed to take calls. Now, this is IP67 weather resistant and buoyant. So, if you are poolside or at the beach and accidentally knock this into the water, uh, it's not going to sink and it's not going to get damaged by complete submersion, uh, which is really great. Now, that is actually compromised when you open the rubber gasket on the back of the Soundcore Motion Boom Plus. And when you pull this gasket out, then we see behind this that there is a USB-C charging input to charge the Motion Boom Plus, as well as a USB port out in order to charge out. You can charge your phone with this and keep the party going longer. And like I said earlier, it does have a three and a half millimeter headphone jack in it so that you can hardline your device right through the speaker. This is loud, okay, at 80 watts, and it's got really crisp. Uh, sound when you've got it cranked. It's not like warbling and sounding like really poor or too tinny. Uh, it's It's got a great punch in the bass with those passive bass radiating speakers. And uh, yeah, I'm super impressed with the Soundcore Motion Boom Plus. I use it as often as I need to, which is, I don't know, I use it every few days. I put this one on for cleaning uh, when I was testing radios. I love this. I love this thing. And uh, yeah, that's what I want to tell you about the Soundcore Motion Boom Plus. Today, it has a four and a half star rating with over 2,000 reviews and uh, $179.99 MSRP. <clears throat> I 
Sounds delicious, says Phyllis. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. The carnitas was already pre-seasoned at the grocery store. We just cut it out of the package and put it into the slow cooker earlier today. But, yeah, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. I love mine. Alan DeBay loves mine. Yeah, I love mine, too. It's so light. I have some other Soundcore uh, products that are in a similar price point but they and, and smaller in stature, but they weigh so much more. It, it has so much more weight to it. The Soundcore Motion Boom Plus is really light, 80 watts, 20 hours of playback on that under ideal conditions. And you can also download the Anchor Soundcore app and customize the equalizer as you please. Okay, so really a lot of options to get some quality sound out of that uh, Soundcore Anchor Motion Boom Plus. Okay, let's take a look at uh, this product next. And this is going to be the Wise Smart Scale. Super fast on the Smart Scale. Leave the box at the back of the house. This is going to be the Wise Smart Scale. This is um, Bluetooth Smart Body and Composition Monitor. This offers the ability to monitor your weight with an app, and it shows you like trending how much you've been weighing on a graph. It monitors your heartbeat. It can check your BMI when you sign up for the app and fill out your body type information, like height and current weight. Um, so that's really great. And then I don't get the heartbeat function to work. Uh, it says that you should have like more damp feet. So my feet aren't damp when I st stand on the scale usually. But yeah, whatever. And you can just use it as a regular scale. You can put it on the floor and stand on it. Okay. But what's great about it is uh, anybody can stand on it and use it as a scale. You don't need to have the app. Uh, to use the scale, but you can sign up different profiles and assign different profiles if you want to. When I first stood on this and got my accurate body weight, um, uh, right when I opened it and started using it, I stood on it and then all, all the friends were around like, oh, I got a new scale. So we all took turns and uh, yeah, I stood on it. And then my friend who's like over 20 pounds lighter than I am stood on the scale and they're like, oh, are you Blake? We don't think that you're Blake. And, and he was like, oh, no, I'm not on the app. But, well, I was, uh, excuse me, I was holding the phone, monitoring the app. And when he stood on it, the app thought that it was me. But it was like, no, nope, not the case. We just skipped that way in. And uh, yeah, really cool. So different profiles, monitor your BMI, monitor your weight, check your heart rate, and a few other metrics that can be monitored with the Wise Smart Scale uh, is available today. Click through the carousel, learn more about this product. Today, it's not on deal. But with 23,379 reviews, this has four and a half stars. That's basically a five-star review. If it's got over 20,000 reviews and it's four and a half stars, that's a five-star review in my book. So for a five-star reviewed scale today, this is $36, $35.98 for the Wise Smart Scale, okay? The next one's the barbecue, right? Because there ain't much else back here. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> this is the Weber Smoky Joe 14-inch uh, charcoal grill. This is a really nice barbecue. Uh, I've seen a couple of them out of the box. This one obviously is not out of the box. And these are great. You know, Weber advertises that you can maintain a rust-free barbecue by keeping it clean while it has this porcelain coating on it. So really, really cool. Now, in the box is an unassembled barbecue. So you're going to get the top and bottom. You're going to get the legs. You're going to get the handle. And you'll be expected to really easily assemble this. I don't believe that there are tools included. Uh, it might just be wing nuts. It might just be wing nuts in here to connect it together. But, yeah, this is the Weber Smoky Joe 14-inch charcoal grill. It's a small barbecue grill. It's great for uh, tailgating if that's what you want to use it for. Wherever you need hot coal in a central mass to – exploit the heat for food cooking you can do that with this okay and uh i think that's really like it's a barbecue there's not much to say about a charcoal barbecue it does i think have the fat catcher on the bottom of it and everything and uh that's it this is a uh, on deal today it's nine percent off making it 57 dollars when regularly it's 62 dollars and 39 cents so that is the this that's the this the weber smoky joe 14 inch charcoal grill <clears throat> oh, 
Okay, the next product that we're going to look at and my last physical product on this side of the room before we go join Mima in the kitchen is going to be the uh, this Kitchen Gizmo, excuse me, Snap and Strain Pot Strain. Excuse me, Pot Strainer. Let's try that again. <clears throat> this is going to be the Kitchen Gizmo Snap and Strain Pot Strainer. This is really cool. It's got these little snaps on it, okay? You can open them. And it grips onto the side of your pot. It's made out of like a really thick, okay, and durable feeling silicone. And uh, yeah, we just snap this onto our pot, okay, and then we can tip our pot over. Do we have an empty pot? Can I have it, please? But yeah, really, really simple in design. It's just got a couple snaps on it. You snap it onto your pot and then you tilt it over. This is going to prevent your pasta from leaking out. You're going to be able to strain your liquids from your solids uh, all in your you pot. One, one that's going to fit this size. That one might be good. Try it out. Um, do we have a bigger pot? Yeah, I just got to go underneath and pull some stuff out. Okay. Well, we don't have to fold. We don't don't worry about it today, okay? It's not a big deal. And so this is going to be that strainer. It's going to have simple snaps to put onto a pot, and then uh, you, like I said, you can separate your liquids from your solids. Oh, okay, cool. I got a pot. Let's see what we can do here, real quick. Uh, okay, so we snap it into place. We snap it onto our pot like this, and then I guess that's pretty much it because this part's not going to sit on the outside, right? So this is the boy. We got it snapped onto our pot. This is what it looks like. Really simple. And then uh, we can dump our pot and separate our solids from our liquids. Really, really cool. Really cool that you don't have to have like a, a dump it in the sink. You can keep it in the pot instead of dumping it in the strainer and then back in the pot if you needed to, right? So this is that. The Kitchen Gizmo Snap and what is it called? The Kitchen Gizmo Snap and Strain is available today for $24.99. Silicone, yeah. It's definitely made out of silicone. Uh, it's, it's soft in the middle and it's more like, uh, hard on the edges. And another really cool thing is that like, obviously my pot has a lip on it. And what's cool about the snaps is there's these little, like little grips you see inside. So when you put this on, it doesn't want to necessarily slide off your pot because those little grips are holding on underneath that lip, which is a really kind of ingenious design. Uh, I think so. That's that. That is the Kitchen Gizmo Snap and Strain. That's it. So I think it's time to head over to the kitchen. You want to hang out in the kitchen and cook some food and eat some food and cut up some pico de gallo? You ready? All right, let's do it. Let's put this pot over okay, here. If you want to get rid of that whole thing. Can you give me the lid, please? Uh, yes. Here you go. <clears throat> okay, let's put the camera over onto Mima in the kitchen. Let's do that. So here's Mima. And let's switch some lights around real quick here. And uh, also the phone thing. And then let's... Uh... Okay, let's go like this. I'm just going to set up a couple quick things here. Drag this over here and then change it to duplicate. Okay. And then pop this open because we only need to see us. I don't need to highlight anything else here. I'm going to bring the microphone over there as well. And so, uh, yeah, can I pass you the phone? <clears throat> and uh, after you put that tripod down, can I pass you this microphone? I'm going to mute the microphone for a second so we can pass it, okay? Can I mute our microphone now? 
We should be switched over. What's up? I got another camera right here. That I would like to put right here. And then uh, we want to uh, switch the camera from the OBS bot to the eMe. I don't need these right here, right? I have to put them right you here. I think that's this camera. Mm -hmm. So let's go to settings and let's go to camera. And let's switch to our table shot. This is going to be the eMe camera. Yes. Can uh, can you put your chopping board right in front? Yep. Yeah. Yes. Perfect. I was moving over because I thought you were going to cut. Oh, two. where do you think that I should be? Well, we, I mean, we'll do both cutting that... boards. Do you want to get the other one with the black on it, and I'll help you cut up some stuff? I mean, I, I okay. I would thought I was going to do the cutting. Do you want to do all of it without me while I talk about products? Sure. Okay. Yeah, we'll I'd do rather that. do that. There's too many, like it's too okay. tight to have both of us here. All right, I got you. Let's switch out to the power cough to the wide shot here. And that's that. And then we'll close this. And then we'll full screen this. And then, Mima, I should be able to turn this around. And uh, I guess I can – I want to see this right here. You got okay. me? How's that looking? I mean, it looks fine. Yeah, we can see ourselves? Yes, Blake. Okay, cool. Awesome. I think that's everything then. And I got my chat on my phone here. All right, let me step over these wires. Smart. Did I hit the camera anyway? Yep. That's okay. We'll sort it out in just a second. And I need this one over here. I'm going to have to open the door to get the cheese out after. Where should I? I should be standing over um, here with the products then? I, I mean, I thought so. Okay, no problem. We'll just stretch this bad boy out and around. I'll, if you take uh, a step back, I'll just step right in front of you here. That should be pretty good, right? Hey, look, it's us. Look, we're on the TV. Oh, oh I almost dropped your stuff. Oh, be careful. We got to be way. careful with this. Oh, uh... no, you just got to move it out of the way. I need this space. Okay. So this is my line, and then this is your line. Is that what you're saying? Well, uh, yeah. I, I don't want because I might knock it over. That's cool. Um, Where's the water in the fridge? Yep, where it always is. <laughs> Thanks, Mima. Well, I think it's always there. <laughs> Sometimes uh, during the show, I leave it out of the fridge. I don't like my water warm. Okay, let's move this back a little bit. I don't have anything to undo. Do, 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 do. I need my space too, says uh, Jennifer Lude. Yo, we're going to talk about some products that we got in the carousel still here. Uh, I just want to fill up my water real quick, and then uh, and then we'll carry on. But, yo, uh, let's, um, let's talk about the cup. I'm going to talk about the cup and the straws, and I guess you can get started if you like, and then I'll just jump into it. Because after the cup and the straws is the two knives. So, Okay, do so you want me just to wait till you're done talking? Well, I don't know. It's just a couple tomatoes. You could start now, I guess, if you like. Okay, I need to move that out of the way. We're going to put this back here for now. Is that okay? Yeah, I just kind of need to move this because you're, <coughs> you're standing right beside me, so I feel like I'm in the, like, I Where would know, you I like me? This, Tucked this way piece. over here, too? Well, like, uh, is this a good shot for you? Because look, okay I look right good here? in the camera. So as long as you're comfortable, that's all that's important. So we want to move this camera a little bit. Okay. Okay, cool. So let me check that camera setting. It's super far away from the, the room right now. So like I said, a little ambitious this shot today, but I think we're going to manage it pretty well. Oh, is this the e meat man? I don't know which one's e meat. E meat is the top one. Anchors the second last one. Oh, that's a great shot, dude. Look at your hands. You look fine. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, let's keep that. Let's keep that tight shot real quick. Let's switch over to that shot. I think I need. Uh, where's that? I have to grab something. Okay, so there's that shot then. Yeah, very ambitious making this show. Let's talk about the, uh, now my microphone is here, so I want to make sure that I'm projecting my voice well enough across the room. Um, tears, tears, everybody's having a good time laughing about needing space. Ha, 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 okay. <laughs> and uh, yeah, wow, that looks like it cuts really good. Yeah, it's very wow. sharp. Okay, let's, uh, let's smash through the straws then real quick. 
and the cups. Okay, so these are going to be the flathead straws. These are going to be 10 reusable. Oh, we got to pull all the way back here. These are 10 reusable silicone That's straws. Why I said I wait till you were done talking. Well, I thought that we could do both okay, things okay. in the Go same ahead. shot. Do your thing. I'm just talking into this camera. That's fine. Okay, well, these are the flathead 10 reusable silicone straws, and they come in this nice bag. And when you open this, you're going to get 10 straws that look like this. They're bendable silicone food safe drinking straws. They have a taper on one end. They're very flexible, but they do have that permanent like uh, bend in them. And you get 10 in the bag and they come in a bunch of different colors. You get uh, you get white and turquoise as well as like a darker purple. And I think a pink version comes in the bag as well. You also get a pipe cleaner to keep your uh, reusable straws clean. I think these are dishwasher safe, but I don't think the water is going to shoot up into the straw. And yeah. that's why it's important to have your, uh, have your pipe cleaner with them. I use these straws all the time since we got them. I love them. I love the silicone straws. I love that it helps reduce plastic waste. And uh, yeah, these are the flathead straws. Okay. Now I'm using my flathead straw all the time with my Behringer skull mason jar mug glass you get four of these today oh hold on real quick with the uh with the 10 reusable flathead products silicone straws they're 9.99 today and that's on deal it's 23 percent off from its regular 13 dollar and three cent price point it's nine dollars and 99 cents today and i love using my straws in in my uh, set of Behringer Skull Mason Jar Mug Glasses. These are really fun skull-shaped mug glasses. They have a lot of great detail on the front. They have a good seal on the top, and they usually come with a little grommet with their own straws. It comes with the lid, and the lid has a hole in it that has a grommet that holds the straw that comes with it in place very well. But after repeated use, my thin silicone grommet busted, and, I, and I'm grateful for it because even though it kind of reduces its leak-proof ability, uh, I can still put now any straw in it that I want, and it lets all the air in that I need. So the Behringer Skull Cups are available today for $19.95, and that's four. You get four in a set, and that's four and a half stars on 664 reviews. So very, very cool. Um, I would be nervous with me cutting stuff and him right by me talking. How does, ta <laughs> well, hopefully, oh, I guess it's, I guess it's good that you're not here, Jennifer Luda. I'm not sure what to say there, but let's switch back now to our wider camera in this ambitious episode of clown live. And I think I said anchor camera is the second last one. Oh, we got it. We're golden. Okay, cool. Let's stay at this shop for a little bit and talk about some more products. And, uh, we're going to talk. Come on back, Biba. Come oh, no, on. No, it's okay. Finish no, it's okay. No, I'm thing. done. I'm over here doing my thing. I just wanted to get close with the straws and the skull glasses. Mima's using the uh, Master Maison uh, Damascus Steel Japanese Chef's Knife to cut tomatoes. And it looks like it's just flying through it like it's butter. Really sharp. Yeah, it's really sharp. Yeah, let's talk about the Damascus Steel Knife. Uh, let's talk about the 11 piece real quick and get it out of the way because I don't think that we're using the 11 piece really for anything on the show today, right? Uh, no. Yeah, I don't think we're okay. So this is gonna be the Master Maison Supreme I Series. I might use the little one to carve the 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 jalapeno, maybe the jalapeno and Cut the small, the or I could use the big one. It doesn't really matter. Okay. Uh, okay. So this is gonna be the eleven piece Master Maison Supreme Series uh, knife set. This is a really nice sharp knife kit that uh, you can get today for fifty seven ninety nine. It is on deal. It's 16% off of uh, its regular $68.84 price point. And so, yeah, for the 11 pieces, you're going to get the block here that I'm holding in my hand. And the block is cool because it does have a sharpening stone built into it so that when the sharpest knives that Master Maison series offers, their Supreme series here may, may uh, not perform as well as they did when they were brand new. You have the ability to sharpen it. Okay, now I'm going to be extremely careful pulling these knives out around Mima right now, but I want to show you that in this 11-piece kit, you're going to get a nice eight-inch chef knife, and uh, we're going to use the we're going to test this knife compared I've, to the Japanese no, Damascus. I've used that knife. one. It's just as sharp as this one. They're the same. Yes. You don't think that that one's sharper than this no, one? No, I think they're they're just the same. They're just both, the same. They're like I feel them near my my nails when I'm cutting. Yeah. It's pretty sharp. Watch so your nails, okay? I know that. 
Okay, so yeah, so we got the eight inch chef knife. We have an eight inch serrated bread knife. Also, there's gonna be an eight inch carving knife that is included in this 11 piece kit. And that is this knife here. Now, please understand that today for the purposes of kitchen show, we've got one wide shot way out here and the tight shot down here, but we're gonna let Mima do some chopping uh, in front of that camera for now. So let's put this back into place and let's do something else too that I normally don't do on the show. Let's grab my keyboard and let's do like a dual thing, a dual thing. I can't see because it's so far away. The other thing I, I, I like my pico de gallo cold. Yeah, and this is more like a room temperature. Yeah, pico because the tomato's been sitting out. Okay, so it's two cameras, so we want one of these to be the Emi camera. So let's do that. Uh, Emi, Emi, Emi cam, yes. And then close this, and then we want Nima on this side and Chopping on the other side. And then what does this look like? That's not too bad. It's actually not too bad, that shot. Look at this shot. That's not so bad, right? Yeah, it's good. Okay, we'll run both cameras at the same time for a minute then and see how that plays out. And so we got Mima chopping up the food with the uh, with the um, with the Damascus steel knife. And then we got me over here standing close to Mima, continuing to talk about the 11 piece kit. Now we covered all the eight inch knives that come in this 11 piece kit by Master Maison. That's the chef knife, the carving knife and the serrated bread knife. But also you get a five inch utility knife included in the kit as well as a three and a half inch paring knife. And uh, they're really light. They're not heavy to no, hold. They and feel they're good very sharp. They are very I've sharp. I've used yeah. almost all of them. You've used almost all these? Yeah. That, and they're all really sharp? Maybe not the bread, but uh, <laughs> uh, I, like we haven't had any bread like that to, right. to uh, cut and, with. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, maybe we should get some like sweet sourdoughs and chop up some breads. Uh, okay, and then in conclusion with this 11-piece kit, you're going to get four non-serrated steak knives. Now, what's great about this 11-piece kit is the blade and the tang are all one piece, and then the handle is riveted on in three individual spots. So really tough kitchen knives that are available today for $57.99. Uh, Brenda says, now that's a knife. Yo, we're going to talk about the actual knife right now, and uh, let's have Mima... Uh, let's have Mima hold it up. The 11 piece, the 11 piece premium black Supreme series master maison 11 piece block. Like I said, it is 16% off making it 57 99 today. Okay. Now let's talk about the knife that Mima is using right now to chop tomatoes for our fresh homemade pico de gallo. This is the master maison authentic Japanese Damascus steel knife. And uh, let me read the back of the box about the knife because it always has the perfect summation on it. And this is what I'm going to say. The Master Maison Supreme Series Damascus Steel Chef's Knife. Uh, this is what they say about it, okay? This knife embodies the uncompromising craftsmanship and durability Master Maison is known for. Imported AUS-10 Japanese steel, premium grade steel that's a cut above the rest, combined with their unique uh, speaking as Master Maison, combined with our unique grinding process, results in a razor sharp blade that's mm -hmm. easy to maintain, a joy to use, and manufactured sure. to last for the rest of your life. Fit for a chef, yet made for the everyday cook. <laughs> yeah. Hey? What do you think about using the knife? It's the first time we've used it. That's good. Uh, uh, sure. The knife like it works, it cuts. I cuts mean, good. there's what else can you say about it? Well, how does it, it feel cut. in your hand? Is it's it, nice is it heavy? and light. No, it's not. Feels good in your hand. That's yeah. now that has an olive wood handle. And again, just like the uh, the uh, Supreme Series knives, these are going to be a solid blade uh, and a tang. And then we looked at the uh, rivet under the microscope the other day. The detail in the rivet alone is so beautiful. The olive wood handle is really, really nice. The the, the, the the Damascus pattern on the blade is also a really beautiful thing. And I wonder, do you think that we can share what the blade looks like? Yeah, yeah. Look at that blade. Isn't that really nice? The way that they layer the steel and then grind it out. It's got a really beautiful, beautiful um, finish on it like that. Okay, let's move this more like in the middle. That's not too bad, right? That's right. Yeah, it's okay, cool. Like... 
Okay, so we're making fresh pico de gallo right now with the Master Maison Damascus Steel Chef's, uh, Chef's Knife. And this knife is so sharp, it's making really short work of all the food here. We're moving a lot faster than I had initially anticipated, but we are doing the following, okay? Mima has been chopping two tomatoes and one purple onion. And what else are we going to put in our pico de gallo today? We're going to put a, a jalapeno. A jalapeno, some, yeah, well, a single jalapeno. Some cilantro. Yep. Garlic. Cilantro and garlic, yeah. And uh, lime. A little bit of lime and juice. Maybe like a, 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 a teaspoon of uh, olive oil. Yeah, just a little bit of yeah, olive oil. And salt and pepper to taste, and right? And salt and pepper. Uh, really, really simple and easy way to make pico de gallo at home. It's two tomato. It's two to one. So it's two tomatoes to one onion or one to a half. We use the purple onions. We use a bunch of like uh, the bunch of cilantro that comes at the store. So I don't know if this is a lot. It looks like it might be a lot. Let me see. It's it's more than enough. This is way more the than enough cilantro. Bundle that was there. We did get the smallest okay, okay, bundle okay. of cilantro. Okay. Oh, it's sorry for making noise. It's dripping water. It's dripping. Oh, is it? Yeah. Can yeah. you, Blake? I have it right here. I have it right here in a bowl. Oh, okay. Just leave it there. Oh, okay. Thanks. No problem. Uh, yeah, so the Damascus Steel Chef's Knife makes short work of cutting tomatoes, cutting onions, whether you're going to cut a lime in half or or really fine chop some cilantro. This Chef's Knife uh, is great. Now, what's cool about it as well is it comes in this really beautiful box here, and the box has like a Teflon uh, sheath for the knife to go in when not in use, and included in the box that is held shut by magnets is going to be a sharpening stone as well as an included cleaning cloth. So you get everything that you need to maintain this $100. I need one of those scrapers, those uh, chef or whatever they do to scrape it up and put it in. They just put like your the, yeah, just listen, like that. I know I'm talking about like, it's one of those tools. It's like a long flat and you just pick it up and you put it in. I see the chefs always using them when they're cutting their stuff up. What I know what it looks like. I don't know what the name of it is. You'll have to show me and then we'll I get will one show for the show. You. We'll get one. Uh yeah. So for our Pico de Gallo, like I said, with the Damascus Chef's knife, we like to do two tomatoes, one purple onion. And That's then, another half still. You want to put that in there? Um it's quite a bit. It's a big well, it's it was a, a big tomato, and this is still the other half to that maybe not then maybe I, not. I know i'm just thinking like it'll we did have a really big purple onion didn't we yeah this is like real Wash your hands, i okay. know blake i see that i know what I, I see okay um yeah maybe maybe that's enough maybe I, that's yeah enough. so we're gonna I do two medium two medium tomatoes maybe two large tomatoes and half of a very large purple onion one whole um jalapeno yeah. a nice big pinch of cilantro yeah and then we're gonna do the we'll juice. We'll do the whole cilantro. We'll cut it up fine. It's you a, don't think that that's too much cilantro? Oh, I don't for know. This like little... uh, I mean, like last time when I made this, I did it the same way. With this much cilantro? Yeah, I put almost all of it in it. Did we? You're the one that likes a lot of it. You don't like a lot of it. I, right? I mean, uh, if it's cut up, too? if it's cut up really good and finely, I'm fine. It's just when it's really chunky. Now, do you think that using a food processor would? achieve no, that or you can I'll, achieve that I'll with the knife with that the we knife. have here now that's the whole reason why we're trying this knife we'll do it with this type of vegetable awesome okay so yeah so the damascus steel knife then is available today for 100 dollars 99 and that's 25 percent off of its 135 dollar and 34 cent msrp this is the camera not that one and uh yeah so we're just going to keep going here uh, I'm going to talk about some more products. Mima's going to keep making pico de gallo. And then uh, and then when the pico's done, we can even stop in the middle of products and eat food once the pico's done. And then uh, we can talk about more products like the ninja and stuff when we go to make the shake. Mm -hmm. So do you want to just eat food and then okay. and then make the shake after we eat? Yeah, I'm still in the middle of cutting this. Oh, yeah. No, I got you. Okay, so we'll skip the ninja blender for now. We'll skip the blender for now then. And then uh, we can talk about whatever we want. What else do we got? We only got four more things here. Am I missing stuff? No, I don't think so. Because we talked about my physical products over there. Uh, we got, Mima, we got the blender, the storage containers, the tongs, and the forks. That's all the stuff we got to talk about. So, um, 
so we can go slow. We can go slower now. I guess I don't have to push all this. We can move as fast as we want. Well, I mean, there's no reason to go slower. We just keep going with the flow of the show right now. If I go, if I were to go with the flow of the show, we would be done the show in like ten minutes. I mean, we still got to do the the smoothie, so it's not going to yeah. be done in ten minutes. Well, I guess then this is it. This is why we did the B roll. We can hang out now, and uh, and make some pico de gallo together and eat some food together. And then, uh, and then we'll talk about the other products in the carousel. We got four products left in the carousel. Maybe, maybe uh, let's do. Should we do the race? Should we? Why get, don't? Yeah, do. It. Should we do the race now while it's ten to seven, yeah. and then people that want to hang out with us while we talk about our other products and cook food and eat, they can hang out with us if they want. Sure. Then we don't have to force everybody to hang out with us while we eat. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I think that might be the smart move. Then let me. Uh, let me um this is really chopping this up yeah it looks really good okay so two tomatoes and a, and a half of a purple onion half of a large purple onion and then we're doing two cloves of garlic in this pico de gallo uh, yeah and you're gonna do up the uh the um you're gonna do up the uh the cilantro and the lime and the jalapeno as well. Mm -hmm. Well, how about I just go over and handle the clown race right. then? Yeah. And then when I come back, yeah, should be almost time to eat some food then. Yeah, I just gotta grab a couple plates. Did you did you want to um heat up the tortilla in the pan and make it a little crispy? I'm yeah, fine with it. I will, way. I will. I just I gotta you gotta give me time to get there. Yeah, no, I got you, no problem. Um uh stargazer says do you mean like a like a dough scraper is that what you're talking yes. about you need like a kitchen dough yes. scraper yes okay a uh, cool shopper says i love cilantro and stargazer says the knife works fine what are we cooking in the kitchen uh what are we cooking in the kitchen well we already did our cooking in the kitchen and uh yeah we're gonna get ready to do the roll call like now ish now ish is the time so, Rover, whatever you want to do in regard to wrapping up roll call and getting the list ready, now's the time to do that. But, Leslie Sheffield, we made some carnitas. It's just like some seasoned pork in the slow cooker today. And now here we've got Mima chopping up uh, some jalapeno with all the seeds in. It's going to be a spicy meal yeah, today. Yeah, that's the only way to eat it. Yeah, it is. And, uh, yeah, so Mima's making some fresh pico de gallo. We got that right here right now. Oh, you got to watch out. Uh, yeah, we got nice garlic and purple onions and, and some store-bought tomatoes. It's winter time, so we can't get those fresh tomatoes here. We're going to add some cilantro and some lime juice to that bad boy as well. I'm going to chop this a little bit. Do you bit. want me to roll the lime for you now before I go sit at the um, table okay. for the clown race? I can do it. Okay, cool. So I can leave all that here. I'm yeah. going to leave my iPhone over here. Yeah. And then you're using the knife, and we've got that highlighted now. So we'll just leave that like that. Yeah. We'll do the clown race. We'll eat some food, and then we'll do the smoothies and talk about the blender. Okay. Okay, I'm going to sneak through this way. Sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, and let's change some settings. Just remember, over. don't rub your eyes after you cut jalapenos. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, Mima, you're going to be the one that has the microphone closest to you, so... I'm going to talk a little bit louder yeah, okay. and be sure to project my voice across the room. And uh, while I do that, let's do the thing where I get the clown race set up. Yep. So give me a minute to do that here. And while we watch Mima make dinner, <laughs> we'll get uh, we'll get ready to do this clown race. We're going to do a $5 Amazon gift card giveaway here. Usually when I cut the jalapeno, I don't do it like this. I do it kind of chunky, eh? But I think for this, it should be a little bit smaller, I think. So it's not so like you're not getting a big bite of hot. I mean, I like it hot. I like it spicy and hot. I like spicy food, too. And sometimes you make some real spicy foods. Like Absolutely. that. Listen, that um, that hot pepper oil that my dad made i yeah. drizzled a little bit of that oil on that pizza that night that's yeah, why you were really like hot. you were like oh my god it's so hot okay let's um <coughs> excuse me okay um so i got the list for the clown race and we're gonna do the clown race basically now seabass says dad joke what did the pecan say to the walnut I don't we're know. We're friends because we're both nuts. <laughs> I just got to walk off and rinse my hands here for a minute. 
Uh, Brenda Haynes says, I washed my hands multiple times and still ruined my contacts from chopping peppers. Uh, put them in my eyes the next day and just I started know. crying. Oh, yeah. I got to remember, too, not to rub my eyes. Uh, the worst thing you can do is wash your hands with soap after cutting any kind of hot pepper. Uh, I don't think that's a smart thing to do, if anything. So what are you going to cut up next here on the show? Now I'm going to cut this? up uh, the cilantro. Okay. And uh, then I'll do the lemon last to squeeze it. Like I'll, I'll roll it and then I'll season it. I should start mixing it up right now. I don't know if that, you can see that. Or do I got to move that up a bit? Sorry, Nima. I was sorry. I didn't listen closely. I was looking at this. What did you say? Um, I'm just going to, can they see this as I'm mixing it up? Uh, yeah, it's a great shot. Yeah, yeah. it looks oh, great. They can exactly see. what you're doing looks okay. really perfect. So like, uh, maybe, you don't think you're gonna do you think it? I, you tip it just a little bit more towards the camera? Do you think that really I good. should put more, uh, does, uh, ask if anyone thinks I should put the other half of the onion. It's a lot. Maybe because I'm not, onion. I think it's enough onion. Because it's it's mixed, it's it was just all at the bottom of the bowl. What does everybody think so far? Well, uh, just for the sake of the show, when you speak, it does take a little bit of lag for the oh, chat to okay. come back and respond. So right. If anybody has an opinion, okay, we will get that opinion in just a few moments. Okay. Okay. okay let's uh, let's do it. I think we're gonna close now. I'm gonna type closed in the chat, whether it's been a minute or not, and that's it. So we're closed that roll call now. And so, um, and so, Rover, whenever you're ready, please go ahead and give me the list. I always forget that I've the list. Even though I just said it, I forgot that there was the lag in the chat. So <laughs> I had to type the message in the chat. But yeah, I'm ready for the list when you're ready. We got Mima here hanging out with us today on Clown Live using that Master Maison. Japanese Damascus steel knife that is highlighted in the carousel right now. It's really sharp. It is a really sharp knife. You want to be careful yeah. when you're cutting with it, all right? Yeah. And know this. That I am. This knife is $100.99 today, and it's usually a little bit more. I think it's like 25% off or something. The cilantro is so strong. Says, Angelica says, perfect for some tacos. Yeah, that's what we're doing now. We've got some pulled pork carnitas in our slow cooker. Blake, to the stove there. what yes. do you think? All this or no? Or is that enough? I think that's enough. Throw in what you think is enough, and then we'll give it a stir. I'll just add put, put that we back there. Right there to use, right? Yeah, I'll just so put it dice back. That up a little yeah, more. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Nima likes her cilantro fine. I don't necessarily like a lot of leaves. I like cilantro, but when it's a whole leaf, it's really strong, the taste. And it, it takes away from everything else, I think. I, I, it's a fresh smell. But I, I do like it chopped. Can everybody hear the chopping? I think so, yeah. <laughs> I can hear it over here, and the microphone is way closer. Oh my god. It's so it smells so fresh the cilantro. Okay, cool. So we got the list of names here and it starts with Rover and it ends in Alyssa with several S's. So let me highlight this uh let me highlight this list of names right now and uh grab that starting with Rover and ending with Alyssa. I'll copy that and then let me pop over to my clown race. I got that open here somewhere on the show. Here it is. And uh, let's do the names. Let me make sure that everything everything's just kind of wonky here. <laughs> One second. Make sure that we're sharing all the right okay. stuff. I think that's looking enough. Looking at the right things. I personally think this. this is enough. And we're going to drag this over here. Okay. And then we're sharing our second screen. So let's do one of these. Now we can see the clown race. And we can still see Nima working her magic. On the Pico de Gallo. Oh, yeah. I, I, I think that's enough. We just got to add, what, a little bit of oil? And yeah, and just and now the lime. Oh, and the lime juice? I'm, I'm just going to yeah, go. the limes were a little hard. We well, usually it's... buy them and then use them right away. And I was thinking for the first time it's ever. It's the season. Like, They're just not... like any other fruit. We basically like got to let them sit for a few days at home, right? Yeah. To ripen up a little bit a more. A little bit. But either way, lime it's juice okay. is going to we'll... taste like lime juice. It's going to yeah, be good. Yeah, it's going to be good. Okay, let's go to edit this list, though. And select all these names 
and remove them and then paste this list of names that we have here, uh, ending in Alyssa with several S's and starting with Rover. So we got 30 names in this list without checking for doubles. Uh, okay, let's do that. And then, yeah, we'll do that. Uh, yeah, so, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just looking at things a little bit differently today since I switched over to the other to the other show. Okay, here's Amazon Live. Okay, um, Blake, type the winner's name. They must be here to claim. Yes, absolutely, I will do that. If they fail, go to second place, repeat as required. Uh, yeah, we can do that. Hey, we're going to do, we're going to do, um, hey, Mima. Yes. Pull, oh, sorry, my brain is all over the place. My brain's all over the place. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We are going to do a race right now, and we are going to do it for two, two, two items, okay? One is going to be uh, a $5 Amazon gift card, and yeah. then the other one is going to be for a product prize. And, uh, and, um, we should do that now. We should do that now. So how do you think we should pick our product prize winner? I was thinking I should give you a range of numbers and then you should pick a number in that range. Okay. And then that person can be the winner. All right. Okay. Okay, cool. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to, maybe do I'll get you to squeeze as much as you can out of this. Yeah. I'll come over there and squeeze the lime in just a second for you if you need that. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to do one race. We're going to pick two winners. Mm -hmm. One winner is going to win a $5 Amazon gift card. Yes. And one winner is going to win a physical prize today. I know what the prize is. Okay. Oh, man, I can smell that over here. Maybe I don't need you to good. Maybe I don't need you to squeeze it. It smells really like, good over here. I can like, smell the cilantro and the lime. Oh, yeah, it's so, like strong i guess i got it all like can only win once per stream yeah because we're gonna pick the winner out of the same race we're gonna pick the winner. uh we're gonna give first place a uh we're gonna give first place a prize and we're gonna give mima's picking the random number of prize and we're gonna do it in one race so i want to know from the chat let me type the question before while i type it um the question is uh um uh who gets what who gets what uh, should first place get the gift card and then Mima picks the prize or should first place get the prize and then Mima picks the $5 gift card. Let me know what you think about how we should distribute the prizes. We're going to do one race today. Let me know if you think first place should get the prize or if they should get the gift card. Now, I'll tell you this also. Okay. Today's prize is in our carousel. Um, gift card first, gift card first, Mima prize, gift card first, winner of the race gets $5, Mima picks the... I squeezed it Yo, all out, Brenda, Blake. That's awesome. Good job. Mima, Brenda Haynes spelled your name N-E-I-M-A. How's that one? That's Mima, different. That's I'm, good but one. no, I, uh, uh, I, a lot of people pronounce it like that. A lot of people seem to be interested in the winner of the race getting the $5 gift card, and Nima can pick the prize of the winner number. So, um, oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's all in good fun about the name. Um, oh, yeah. Nima's name is spelled wrong by everybody constantly, yeah. so it's all it's all in good fun. Oh, here. yeah. Uh, we didn't mean to single you up. Nima mm. prize, that's what good. I heard. Yeah, ends and ends can be very hard to distinguish on microphones, especially probably from across the room here. Let me keep my voice loud. Okay. Uh, I think it seems to kind of be sort of a split decision with sort of the majority leaning in. First place is going to get a $5 Amazon gift card, and then we'll give you the range of number and pick a number, Nima, when the time's right, okay. and then we'll give that winner the prize. Okay. Right. The prize is in our carousel today, and, uh, and it's on deal. The prize is on deal. And uh, also, it is on deal for like 15 bucks or around 15 bucks or something. Well, so, that's not bad. yeah, not too bad. Oh, it's actually, a, it's actually a product that I think we haven't even talked about yet on the show. So that really narrows down the prizes. Really narrows down the prizes. Let's get into it right now. Let's do a roll. Uh, we did the roll call. Let me tell you everybody's names. And then that is the decision to be made. We are going to do this check-in right now. And then we will do the race, and then we will have first place winner, okay, be the $5 Amazon gift card prize winner, and then we will have Mima pick the winner for the physical prize, okay? So let's do that now and check out these names in our chat um, uh, in the list, in the, clown, in the clown race list. We start with USS Rover, okay? 
followed by Jennifer Lude, Samantha Guevaro, Cool Shopper, Robin Luker, Vicky E, also Evans, Stargazer, Leslie Sheffield, Angelica Villarreal, also Cece is on this list. Uh, we also have Nelson Guzman, as well as Phyllis Spell, as well as Pat Su uh, as Patrisanja, Brenda Haynes, Bart, Margaret, Onari, Woolrich the Jr. Also on this list, we have Shell B, followed by Travel Diva 2, Kmart Kelly, Ian B, C Bass, oh, FA, Ed S, Randy Dresden, Charles T is also in this list. And wrapping up this list, we have Tech Girl Bargains, as well as Alyssa with multiple S's. With multiple S's. I'm glad to see everybody typing here in the chat. I appreciate that. And uh, I don't think that anybody's been speaking up that there's been any issues with the list. Everything seems pretty good. Also must be present to win both card and prize. Yeah, absolutely. You got to be in the, in the chat to claim. So nobody's saying not me, not me, not me. I think everything's good here. So let's hit done. I didn't see any doubles. And uh, let me scroll all the way up. I think it was four shuffles in 45 seconds. Let me check the list here. I got to scroll way up for that list. Two shuffles in 55 seconds. No problem. Okay. So let's do uh, 55 seconds on the clock. And let's do two shuffles. Uh, shuffle, shuffle. Let's check our music is down a little bit. And uh, let's do it. This is going to be a race where first place is going to get a $5 Amazon gift card. And then we're going to have Nima choose a prize winner right after that in the same race. Okay. So here we go. Good luck, everybody. Happy New Year, everybody. Six viewers right now on our New Year's Day edition of the Clown Live, a special Sunday edition of the show. And we're restarting our regular scheduled programming tomorrow at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Monday. We're going to be back here with a new show, more products, more giveaways, uh, more interaction, more engagement, uh, and more Amazon Live than you can even handle, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. So yeah, I'm really excited to get back into the kitchen and eat some food with Mima here because it is smelling really good since she started slicing up the cilantro and the and the thing. Stargazer, are you gonna win? Is somebody gonna take over? Is it gonna be Stargazer? Yo, Stargazer, congratulations! You are the winner of a five dollar Amazon gift card giveaway. Hopefully, this will be something that can help your sickly state of being feel just incrementally better if not a complete recovery that you gain from this win that would be phenomenal okay clown live healing people you know what i mean on amazon live but all jokes aside let's pause this music real quick here and let's uh where are we at where are we at uh i didn't stop the music i thought i did no there we go Okay, let's do this. Let's full screen Nima while she stirs up our Pico de God. Oh, you want to show that? I'm just showing it. Yeah, I didn't okay. know well, that. That's yeah, what I we're at. Stuff. We're showing Nima stir up the Pico de Gallo. Let me jump into my Discord real quick and message Justin and let him know that. Star I just need to try it, everybody, first. to see how much salt I need in it. First. Actually, I use this. Stargazer wins January 1st, $5. Send that to Justin. Absolutely. Absolutely. And then uh, before I come over there and rejoin you. Um, I want you to try it. What do you think it needs before I try it? Well, I think it needs a little bit of salt, but here I'm going to give it. Go ahead and add more salt. I love salt. So if here. you think it needs more, go but ahead. I want you to more. try it. You want me to try it? Okay. I'll take a quick bite here, and then we're going to get back with the show, okay? What do you think? A little bit? Just a little bit? Or no? A little bit? It's really delicious. And I think it could use a pinch more salt. Yeah. Absolutely. And I bet you if we weren't eating this fresh right now mm -hmm. and we had made it earlier in the day, and let it sit in the fridge. I bet it would have all permeated and probably would. Well, have I mean, I, we can put a little bit uh, in the fridge right now. I mean, that's a lot. 
Well, we'll just eat. We'll just okay. eat and keep the show going right. here, and then, uh, and then okay, okay, for now, and then we'll put what we don't eat into the all fridge right. after. Is that all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Okay, let me cut out to a wide shot here with Mima, and then let's put her down here and take a look at this race. Stargazer. Oh no, no, no. Uh, I kind of want it to be kind of a. I kind of want it to be like a. Before we look at the placement, I want Mima to pick the numbers. So yeah, let's uh, let's do this kind of zoom in on Mima. Get that camera. There we go. Get that bit rate back. Get that bit rate back. Looks a little rough there. Okay. Um. Uh. An Amazon chat. Where's that? Did I close my Amazon chat? I think I closed my Amazon chat. Yeah. Let me open my Amazon chat again. And then we're gonna have uh, Mima pick a winner here for a prize. I'm gonna put this on to heat up the. What's it called? Okay, so we can keep that like that. Two through thirty. Two through thirty. Yeah, I was gonna ask that. I was gonna ask that if we thought Stargazer should be um, eliminated from the ability to win. And I see that that's the first opinion. So instead of waiting for the lag, I think that's fair. I think that's fair. Two prize winners on January first. So let me now look at my clown race and see that we had first place all the way down to thirtieth place. Mima, why don't you go ahead? I'm going to start putting some on the stove. Like, I'm going to fix it up. Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah, let's start eating. I'm going to have you pick a winner for this prize right now, and then I'm going to come over there and join you to eat some food. Okay. And then we're going to stay live, enjoy dinner on a live stream, and then we're going to make some desserts and the other stuff, okay? All right, boy. All right, so, yo, then, Mima, you get to pick today's uh, prize winner. Okay. And in order to do that, I just need you to pick a number – between, I believe, hold on, between 2 and 30. Pick a number between 2 and 30. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, do I have to say it out loud? Say it out loud. Oh. You're going to pick the winner two, right now. 2 and 30? Pick a number between 2 and 30. Um, 17. 17? Mima, that's my lucky number. I know. I think that's rigged. No. I love 17. How is it rigged? my lucky number. You see what it's I'm saying? Rigged. 17 comes up around here crazy all the time. That's about halfway through. That's about halfway through. Let's check out the race list here and see where everybody plays. Stargazer again in first place. Congratulations. Yeah, Kmart Kelly, Onari in third place. And then uh, everybody else is slotting in here. Let's see who won 17th place. Let's see who won 17th I'm going to put it in one of these place. right 14, now. 14, 15, 15, 16th place is going to be Bart. Who do you think is going to be 17th place? It's going to be – it's going to be – Alyssa, Alyssa, are you here in the chat? Congratulations. You've just won a product prize. Let me head over to my phone real quick and highlight the prize. Let me go highlight the prize right now in my carousel. All right. uh, here it is. Congratulations to you, Alyssa. I see you in the chat saying, oh, my God, yay, on the phone. You just won the original Popco tongs. Yo, Mima's actually using these tongs right now to put our carnitas into our uh, our food safe, uh, our fine dine glass food prep storage container. We got all the Amazon products being used right now. And, yeah, you got these. These are awesome. These are really cool uh, silicone-covered. Uh, tongs. They're good for barbecues. They're good for indoor use, whatever you need them for. Excuse me. Yeah, no problem. No, no, I just wanted to <clears throat> And they have like nice rubber grips on the handles that you can put your digit, your finger digit into, as well as your thumb to add increased uh, grip ability. Uh, they lock into place and stay closed. You can push it in to open it. These are really quiet when you squeeze them and use them. Really awesome, awesome, awesome tongs. <gasps> Excuse me. And they come in three different sizes. Okay. They're going to come in uh, the larger green size that Mima is currently washing over at the sink. Also, you get a medium-sized red Maybe set as well one. as this orange small. Yeah, you can use color. whatever you like. Uh, that's the great thing about the original Popco tongs. You can use them whenever you want, and they're perfect for any kind of thing. That's all the carnitas we made today. Yeah, it's a big one. 
It was a big one. I'm sure, it boiled down so, into a little yeah. bit of a one. Well, huh? I know, but it's a lot of meat still. So, like, Congratulations, Alyssa. The prize winner. Uh, the prize winner could always be number seventeen. It could be, but it's fun to choose different things and keep people on their toes occasionally. I didn't expect Mima to choose seventeen today. That's for sure. So let me full stop what I'm doing. Okay, okay? I'm, I'm going to come and eat with you right now. Wait, please. wait, wait! I still got to put it on the stove to heat them up to melt the cheese. Oh, okay. I Is thought, that how you wanted me? I thought you were just going to throw the tortilla on the pan and heat it up and make it warm no, and then no, just pinch grip everything. No, no. I was going to do it like this. Well, however, however you like okay, to make it, it'll take be long really good. Are you going to make it like a little quesadilla? I guess so. You're going to make little mini carnitas And then we can put our own sauces on it. Heck yeah, that along, sounds good. Okay? Yeah, please do. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to head over to the computer here and I'm going to message Justin and I'm going to let him know that Alyssa is our original Popco Tongs prize winner. And then, uh, oh, is this what we were showing the whole time this show? My bad. My bad. Sorry about that. Wanted to show you this. Yo, we're going to show you the tongs that you want again in just a moment. But let me get my Discord up here and uh, tell Justin that Alyssa uh, wins the tongs. Alyssa wins the tongs. Let me fix, fix a little typo here. Bang. Bang. Stargazer wins January 1st, $5. Alyssa wins the tongs. We are full screen here. Let's minimize this and then go like, uh, we can switch back. Do the duplicate boy. And then we can turn this one around. Whoop. <clears throat> Whoop. And then what do you think? Should we be showing that camera there, Boot? I don't know. What I guess so. What, what is the problem here? This? No, it was on the, the you know, where it, it was just tilted and it wasn't grabbing properly. Okay. It's fine now. We can now. see ourselves here. This is looking good. Can we see you making the tacos with the e-meat? Boom. Wow, what a great shot. Awesome. Awesome. Everything's looking real good over here. Let me sneak back by over here now. And, uh, yeah, we do have some tight quarters, so I don't plan on rolling a chair over here to eat. I'm just going to stand and eat today. Are we going to stand for a very long time to eat? Well, you can sit in the chair if you like, but it's just it's such a complicated thing for me to bring my office chair over here that I'm going to stay standing, all right? Okay. <laughs> yeah, so Mima is using our original Popco tongs, which are currently highlighted in our carousel, to add some of the carnitas that we made in our slow cooker today to our, what do we get, corn boys or whole wheat boys? It's whole wheat. We got whole wheat tortillas, and uh, we got some red corn chips to enjoy our pico de gallo with. And yeah, instead of making uh, little handheld tacos, Mima's actually going to fold these in half. And then throw them on the grill. I thought it would be easier. I put them on the stove here, and then melt the cheese in there, and make it like nice and crispy and shut, like an open, like a tortilla. I guess. Like a tortilla, says Mima. <laughs> tortilla. The tortilla. <laughs> okay, so yeah, so congratulations again, Alyssa, on winning the original popco tongues. I know we were kind of small. Uh, in the show there a moment ago, but these are what you got. Nice set of silicone uh, tipped and and handled Popco tongs. They come in three different sizes. They come in this medium red side size, excuse me. They also come in this nice, oh, that's so good. The carnitas is real good, okay? They also come in this small orange size. We got a larger green size here in the sink. I'll just back this out real quick and not hold it over the food. And then we got a, a larger green size. I'm going to hold it back here because it's a little bit dishwatery. Uh, but yeah, so three different sizes. And today, the original Popco tongs are available for anybody for $13. And that's almost 60% off of its MSRP. These are regularly $30. Bucks. Today, they're $12.99. We've been talking about them for a couple weeks, and they've been staying on sale. So don't sleep on it, okay? Heads up on the great deal with the original Popco tongs. Because being on sale this long, they can't be on sale too much longer. I mean, right? I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, the original Popco tongs today <coughs> are available for 57% off, making them $12.99.
Uh, Stargazer says, I'm waiting for food to be delivered from family dinner. Steak and potatoes and salad. I have similar tongs and hot pink. Wow. Um, Alyssa, name change to Alyssa. I sent the message that Alyssa with several S's won the thing. I don't think there's another Alyssa in the chat. So uh, if we run into an issue, we will always get it sorted. We always do get it sorted. What else can I talk about? What else can I talk? There's just a couple other products left in the carousel here. Um, we're going to talk about the blender last today. I should have put that as my last product. Let's talk about the fine dye superior glass round containers. And this is actually what we're holding our carnitas in right now. And, uh, yeah, we can take a quick, quick zoom in on this and, um, we're ready to eat some food here. I just, yeah, I just okay. Let me just talk about the carnitas in the bowl and then we will eat the food together and then we'll talk about glass products. So these are the fine dine dishes beaten them. I'm doing this. I'm just trying to move this here. Oh, okay. Do you need some more room? Oh. Okay. So this is the this is our pork in our fine dine dish, and this dish is really great. Uh, they ha it has a nice flat top on it, and these are dishwasher safe. They have these wonderful plastic lids that have these gray gaskets on them, and that's this gray gasket here, and they have like this hinged locking system. So when it's time to lock away your food and keep it up to twice as fresh uh then we can put the the lid on and hinge it shut and these are great these don't let uh uh liquid come out see how the fat is touching that top of that lid now uh yeah you're not going to get a leak these stay watertight um okay now what's awesome about these fine dine dishes okay is that they are 100 leak proof they don't trap food they're made of lead-free glass. They're BPA-free. They are 100% hypoallergenic, and they are 100% bacteria, mildew, and mold resistant. And these are thermal shock resistant, so they're suitable, okay, to go from the freezer to the oven and then right to your table. You can put these right in the oven, but do keep in mind, okay, that the lids that are included with the fine dine containers are plastic. Well, the well the the bowl itself is made of that thermal resistant glass. And I think that's it. I think that's it. And we got 300 clear plastics. We'll talk about uh, plastic forks. I'll talk about the forks where you put that on the plate. And then the only other object that we have to talk about in the carousel is the blender and we'll talk about that when we make the smoothies and the other stuff well i'm just gonna put them all on one plate oh yeah that's fine we can eat off one plate it's yeah. not a big deal we got a lot of room but yeah this is fine all right okay well i'm gonna talk about the uh, forks and then i'll join you in eating some food and you needn't wait for me but i'm sure i'll be done talking about okay forks well by the time i'll we wait these. for you as long as you're i'm gonna like, talk about plastic forks right now and then we'll eat and then we'll talk about the blender i'm just gonna put this off to the side you put it right here booty yeah yeah, you got this whole table. It's not even hot. What'd you say? It's not even hot. It's not hot? No. Well, we did put it on really early today, huh? <clears throat> okay, let's talk about the plastic forks, the last item in the carousel, and then we're going to sit here and mukbang some dinner in real time, and then we're going to make some dessert in real time as well. So, uh, yeah, okay, so this is that. This is this. Let's run to the tight camera for the fork real quick. Oh, actually, I should use a fork to scoop it on here with the... Oh, you're going to demo the fork right now? Yeah. Can you pass me one? It, here it is. Okay, right... let me show the camera and then I'll pass it to you. Okay, well, just give me a new one. So okay. these are the Presti plastic forks, and they're really nice, clear, high-quality plastic forks. Uh, these are by Presti, and today you can get uh, a box of 300 for $25. That's 9% off. Of its twenty-seven dollar and ninety-something cent price point, I was just looking at Mima there. I wanted to get her. Go ahead, go ahead and do what you like. I was just uh, gonna yeah, just demo on. the fork for us. So you can scoop pico de gallo with <laughs> the plastic fork and put it directly on your red corn nacho you chip, be and really then totally uh, enjoy dandy. that food. You can enjoy that food, eh? With these Presti plastic forks mm. that are available today. Oops, sorry about that. That again are available today for. Uh, $25. It's $24.99 for 300 plastic forks. Click through the carousel. Learn more about plastic forks if you need to. And then that's it. That's it. Let's eat some food. Okay. It worked out really well, didn't it? I the don't time. Know you want the buffalo hot sauce. I'm going to put this stuff that we got from our friend in America. Let's, uh, let's do the tight shot while we dress our food. 
Maybe I should. Is there is there even like a crappy stool in the back? Yeah, you got to get it. You put the wood on top of it. But be careful. Yeah, it's a bad stool, I know. Yeah. No, Blake, it was on the... Maybe. I thought it was in the very back room. Hmm. That's good. <clears throat> Sit with you right here and then just adjust the e meat camera. Just be careful. Yeah, I know. I'll be careful. Mm. And then we'll pull this camera back. I wish you all we'll could pop have it some up of a this. little bit. There we go. This is the shot. This is dinner shot. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then we'll put the iPhone a little bit closer to us so we can see mm -hmm. people talking. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's the show, y'all. We got one more product in the carousel. We're going to talk about the Ninja Blender in a little bit. But after we enjoy this dinner that we've made, uh, featuring pretty much all products that were in the carousel, the, the Japanese Damascus knife made short work of chopping up oh, the yeah. food. It chopped the, it really good. Cilantro looks really chopped fine. Yeah. Can I have a Presti fork? Where's the box of forks? Way over there? No, it's down there under the side of oh, the table. Here, you can use mine. Oh, we can share a plastic fork. Sure, thanks. We're just scooping the same thing with a pico de gallo, right? I just use my finger, like my other one, to scoop like this. Mm. Even though it's not cold, the pico de gallo is so good. Mm hmm. Are you gonna put what hot sauce are you gonna put on? Honestly, mm -hmm. the jalapeno is spicy enough that I don't even necessarily need hot sauce. But we've got some really good um, non vinegar. Oh, this is a this is the El Yucateco uh, habanero non vinegar based hot sauce. I asked my boy, I was like, "Can you please get me hot sauce that doesn't have vinegar in it?" And he's like, "Yeah, I can." And then he did. And, and then I saw him, and I thought he was going to give me, like, a single bottle of hot sauce. There's forks right beside you. And he ended up buying me, like, six bottles of hot sauce. It was crazy. I hope it's not us that are killing you. This food, though, is really, really, really good. Mm -hmm. We haven't made the pico de gallo here in Maybe several we months. Just like have like one, and then I said start the. You want to get? Up? I understand. You can... I'd rather eat like after like the show a little bit. You want to enjoy the food after the yeah. show. You want to eat just this plate of food and then make the things. Um, I'll come. Yeah, because these will be cold after. And our plan is to make both of the things. The oh. we're doing both. Yeah. Oh, we're killing you! I haven't had solid food for days. You're killing me! I'm waiting for steak and potatoes. Listen, mm -hmm. cut small pieces off the steak and chew the steak a lot. If you haven't had a lot of solid food in a few days, I know I can ravage through a piece of meat. So make sure that you're dainty. And quainty, okay, with the food that you're eating, Sheila, when it comes. Um, yeah, chew that steak up very well. So good. So we got the uh we got the carnitas, the pork, uh, as well as the pico de gallo with the mozzarella cheese. I love the pico. Man, when I when I learned about pico de gallo and how you can easily make it at home, we ate pico de gallo like every day for like a month, right? Mm -hmm. It was in our groceries all the time. I got barbecue sauce in the fridge. Mm. That I don't think you need it. It tastes like candy. It tastes like uh, Mima doesn't like it because it has a tequila flavor to it, but I think it gives everything an ultra sweet, like candy kind of flavor. I'm gonna have to soak this. Put it in here. See, there's a lot of a lime that came out of those. I saw it when you squeezed it. It came out a lot. It was good. Okay. So good, the food here. Camera? Yeah. Yeah, you got it? Yeah, it's really important, yeah. And also make sure you stay well hydrated, too, because that steak, 
might have a little salt on it. You don't want to dehydrate, especially if your belly hasn't been feeling good. Dude, I'm spitting like an ape when I'm talking. The food is so good. Carnitas, you know? Do you even think we'd be able to match these flavors if we tried to make this at home? What? The carnitas, the meat? I don't know. It depends on what they did. I don't know what flavors they used. It was really red. I'm a natural fainter, so the doc says to eat all the salt I can stand. Oh, wow, that's interesting. Yeah, my doctor does not tell me to eat a lot of salt, so I stopped going to him because I didn't want to hear what he had to say. Where's my camera? Right here. I didn't want to hear what he had to say. Be careful around your eyes. Yeah. This mm -hmm. is yeah, so good. good that I almost just cussed. Mm -hmm. Well, try not to. <laughs> okay. I'll keep trying. Look at this. Look at this, what we're eating. We're eating this delicious, delicious pico de gallo. Maybe we can put that in the fridge and let it. Yeah. Maybe we can put it in one of our round prep containers and, okay. and do it like that. Yo, I'm going to be a little piggy. I'm going to wolf my next one down here too. in the interest of getting back to the show. I'm going to put a little bit inside. But I'm so food. glad that we got to take a break uh, and enjoy this food. You did so good making it, Booty. Thanks. Just a little bit. Look at that. Just a little bit. Oops, I'll clean up the mess. Yeah, it's okay. Beautiful pico de gallo on a nice red corn tortilla chip. It's so fresh, you know? Mm -hmm. Do you like the corn chips? Sorry, what? Do you like the red chips? Yeah, I don't think the color made any difference in flavor. No, I don't know. Compared to like a different, like traditional tortilla yeah. chip. We bought the red ones because they were red. I didn't think it was anything particularly mm -hmm. special. I did at the time, but now I guess not so much. Everybody's commenting that the food looks really good. And honestly, you have to be here to try it because it is exceptional. Yeah, it's good. The carnitas is seasoned, seasoned perfectly. Yeah. You put just a little tiny bit of water in it so that it wouldn't dry out and it's really moist. I put like this much water. Yeah, even get well, you get a little bit of even that's not really a lot of fat to come out of one of these, I think. No. It's a little I bit, put, like, but that, I mean, you know, fat is a flavor, right? That much water. Just like a few milliliters of water yeah. to prevent it from sticking to the bottom. Mm -hmm. Well, you nailed it. You nailed it, Mima. You did so good. The food is delicious. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You got a drink? Yeah. So good, so good, so good. <laughs> Rover says I can go to the all you can eat place. Go, I can go into an all you can eat place and get my money's worth. We went out for a buffet last night with our friends. We went to our ch uh, local Chinese buffet, and usually uh, the buffet since COVID, the buffet basically closed, and they only open for special occasions. And we went for a previous special occasion. And it was like, this isn't even that good. They lost their touch because they've been closed for so mm -hmm. long. And then we went back last night and had it again. This is like a few months later. <clears throat> and the food was really good. The food was yeah. on point last night. The only thing that I didn't tend to enjoy last night for some reason was the deep fried shrimps. But they other than okay. the shrimps having kind of, okay. yeah, they were okay, but they weren't the best. Mm -hmm. But the chicken wings were on point. Yeah, they were good. Now, it was a type of buffet where you get a lot more brown on your plate than you do green. Yeah. So I ate added, a lot of roast beef broccoli last they night. They could have added a little bit more vegetable. They had the bean sprouts one, but again, it was like a little bit fatty, but it was really good. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, just a little bit fatty, the bean sprouts, because they put the chicken in there. Yeah. I mean, the chicken doesn't have, unless it's chicken breast, it don't have too much fat in the chicken breast. Right. It's pretty dry. I appreciate all of you hanging out with us while we mukbang the food. It's really good. I wish you all could be here to enjoy the fresh pico de gallo that Mima made, as well as the carnitas on these pan-fried whole wheat tortillas. And now, our, our pico de gallo, it's only going to get better in flavor yep. as everything infuses together over the next yep. couple hours. What do you think? Should we put it in the food storage container? Mm -hmm. Let me move this out of the way. Oops, sorry, I almost bashed that on the floor with my elbow. You want me to do it? Just so good. a little bit more here. Sure. So this is it for dinner on the show, and then we're gonna make the desserts now. That's the plan here. So good. Delicious. Uh, we're going to switch to the other camera. Let me just clean my hands real quick. Can I pop this right behind you here? Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Such good food. Rover says this one fast food place had an all-you-can-eat fish Friday. I ate over 40 big pieces. I ate him out of stock. Remember that on The Simpsons when he's like, does this sound like the story of a man who had all he could eat? Homer went to an all-you-could-eat fish food place, and he ate all the food, and they kicked him out of the restaurant. I don't know. And then Marge, he took Marge know. driving around with a fishing rod. They had to go to the lake to fish for more fish because really he didn't have enough all-you-can-eat. He had to go to the lake. I don't remember. Anyway, very funny, very real scene. Um, yeah, okay, let's switch over to the other camera here, the wide shot real quick. Yes, this is us. What's up, y'all? Okay, so that should be that. Man, my nose is running just a tiny little bit from the uh, from the jalapenos, but it wasn't too spicy. It was just perfect. Maybe I could have put some actual hot sauce on it, but it was really, really good nonetheless. Okay, and what do you want to do with the carnitas? You want to leave it out or put no, it in the fridge? Put it over you here. can put it over here for now. This here's good. Yes. Uh, okay, so we're going to do... Do you want to do this first and then do the dessert? I don't care. This this should be pretty quick, right? Uh, yeah. Let's just puree some garlic, basically, huh? Yes. Okay. I'm going to put the water in now. <clears throat> Can't stand McDonald's anymore. I only get chicken sandwiches at McDonald's. And I'm in Canada. We have ch different grades of chicken than America. Uh, it tastes different. It tastes different. Okay, let's move on to the final product for real in our carousel. We have one product left. We're going to talk about that, but we're going to do a nice demo with it, and we're going to do a demo with all of the parts today. So I honestly expect to still be live for like another 20 or 30 minutes at least. So we are going to do what we came here to do, and that's it, right? Yeah. You want to you start now? Yes, please. You want to do the garlic first? Okay, let's get it going. Okay, let's get it going then. Okay, let's talk about our Ninja Blender here. And uh, like I said, this is going to be our last product in our carousel today. But we're going to spend a few more minutes than five uh, talking about this product. And uh, yeah, let me talk to you about it. And then we'll start using the garlic first. Can I please? Oh, we have the chopper here. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I will move the knife out of the way for now. 
Well, um, I'm going to pull all this stuff out and have to push it back in to do the. Yeah, awesome. Okay. Okay. So we got all these highlighted then, real quick here. Um, in the carousel, let's talk about them. This is going to be the Ninja QB 1004 blender, whatever it says in the carousel. This is the blender system that I'm showing you in my carousel. I wish the carousel showed me the full name, but it is the QB 1004, it says at least. And that's what we're taking a look at here today. Okay. This kit is available for $59.99. Now, I'm going to show you today the 48 ounce pitcher as well as the 16 ounce chopper. But when you click through the carousel to learn more about this, you'll see that featured is an additional, I believe, 32-ounce mini pitcher. I don't have that product, okay? Uh, and so um, today you get all three of these for 60 bucks. Pretty good deal. Now, what's awesome about this particular thing, <clears throat> what's awesome about this particular Ninja product and compared to a lot of like, uh, regular kitchen utensils is that you get one 450 watt motor and that's going to be this boy. Now we are kind of further back for the demo. I guess I have the Emi right here, but I ain't trying to switch a lot real quick. We'll, we'll go close when we do the chopping of the garlic. Okay. This 450 watt motor has a single button operation on press it for on release it for off. It's got a short cable, but uh, that's okay because it's designed to be sitting on your kitchen counter when in use and what is really awesome about this 450 watt motor is that it's the only one you get. When you buy the kit, you get one motor, but you get all of the pitchers and choppers included. And that's amazing for saving space in your kitchen. Instead of having a chopper with a motor and a mixer with a motor uh, or a, uh, a pitcher, excuse me, you have them all, all individually with one motor to rule them all. Awesome, right? Saves a lot of space here. Now take a look at our kitchen, y'all. I'm living in a trailer park home, and this is this is the kitchen. Like, I get counter space from the back of the fridge here to the sink, and then nothing in the sink. And then I got my microwave behind Mima and myself here in this back corner, taking up so much space. We barely have room for two dinner plates and a crock pot next to our stove, <clears throat> and an equal or much less amount of space next to the stove. And this is constitutes literally all of our cupboard space and countertop space in our kitchen. So the Ninja Blender with its single 450 watt motor is amazing at saving crucial space in small spots like we got, right? Mm -hmm. And that's why I can't praise it enough. Now, mm -hmm. the Ninja Blender is cool. Do we end up making more than one sheet of uh, ice today? We only made the one, right? We're gonna go look and see. I'm sure that's frozen for sure, but we right. didn't make more than that. No. We'll just use the ice we have and hope that it hope for the best. I, I mean, it like it should be fine. Yeah, I called for like two cups, but I don't even think we got a cup and a half. Uh, we're gonna do that anyway after the I um that. I'm checking. Okay. Okay, so the 450 watt motor is awesome because it's detachable from the pitcher, from the chopper, from the mini pitcher. What'd you say? I think we do have enough to do it. <laughs> and that's great. Sa saving space. Saving space. Now, with the pitcher and the chopper, you get a proprietary top uh, that the motor sits on. And it's proprietary because it has like a big plastic notch in it that only is allows the motor to sit in the blender one way. I have it sitting in the blender the proper way now. Again, I realize we're a little far apart from each other, but like we can't put it in. We can't put it in any other way. It won't fit in properly. But it does fit right into place when you line it up as it needs to be. Okay, so the 48-ounce pitcher, we're going to do the garlic first. Okay, let's do the garlic first. Uh, the 16-ounce chopper has the exact same setup. It comes with a nice lid that goes on top of the 16-ounce chopper dish. Now, what else is great about the chopper is that you get a double-tiered blade system. But if you don't want to have both of the blades like pureeing what you want, you can have a more coarse chop by turning clockwise the top blade and really easily lifting it off the shaft. And then the blade drops into the chopper. Super simple. So you want to do it one blade today? I guess so. Not two, right? Yeah. <clears throat> you want it like how you saw the way I was chopping it for the pico de gallo? Yeah. Do you think My that this is going to be that? Just two pulses. Just a bzz, bzz. Yeah. Do we need a thing to maybe push it down for another bzz, bzz? Uh, uh, yeah, we have it over here. It just have Well, let's just it. fly by the seat of our pants. The show's essentially done, so I'm not looking for a reason to get offline, but we'll be as efficient as we can. Okay. Okay. Okay, so the 16-ounce chopper then does have that black plastic shaft 
with a dual blade design on the bottom and that removable additional blade that you can just drop in and uh, well you don't drop it in okay you got to put it on the right way but we put it in it drops into place and then we turn it counterclockwise like an eighth of a turn and that's what keeps it uh in well good place but we're going to use single blade today uh in our 16 ounce chopper because we're just going to make a little is it a topping is it a seasoning what are we making exactly it's like for cooking <clears throat> Mima claims that what we're about Not to claims, make claims it's for cooking. Mima claims today that what we're about to make today is exclusively for cooking. And, it is. But uh, what I like to do is I like to take all of this and put it on pizza. Goes great it's on not pizza. Meant to, to be eaten that way. It's but you can eat cooking. it that way if you want, though, right? I, but it's very strong. So oh, it is so I potent. It is so potent. I don't like it like that. I like mm -hmm. to cook with it. Check this out. Let's get this started. I got a. I got three heads of garlic. I got three heads of garlic here. Yes. Where's my thing? Okay, let's cut to the tighter camera real quick here. It's really, really hard to see across the room. Okay, so here's the tighter camera. Let's take a look at the chat. Okay, cool. I see everybody's just having a good time, enjoying themselves. I use roll-up drying racks to give me more counter space when I'm cooking because my sink is so big. Oh, what about that? A nice, a nice uh, thing that rolls right across the top of the sink where we're not using the sink. It gives us more counter space. It could be interesting. That's what Evan says. Evan says I use up, I use roll-up drying racks to give me more counter space. That could be interesting, huh? Mm -hmm. I mean, like, uh, I guess so. Put your food in, uh, put your food in the microwave, a uh, steak in a microwave. I don't know. I don't think that's a smart move, but, uh, if you're feeling sick, you already feel sick. I'm sure a microwave steak isn't going to be the worst thing that you put into you, especially if it's the first solid food that you're eating in a little while. Okay. Uh, without further ado, let's make this product here. And this is what we got. Okay. We're going to talk about uh, using the Ninja blender at the 16 ounce chopper. And then, so what do we do? We're just going to add three heads of garlic, which we, so you got to put the garlic in the thing. Yeah. And this is three whole heads. Yes. Okay. okay. You got to chop it two pulses. We got to chop it two pulses. Yes. Okay, we can do that. So to do that, we put our lid on the top like this. We'll pull back and give them one of these. That's going to be pretty good. And then uh, let's get our extension cord out here real fast. Let's put this on the table because that is where the cord is. This ain't going to reach down to the floor. Okay, so we pop this in really easy. And now listen, before we put the motor on, I want you to know that these don't these don't seal. These don't stay on. They just go in with gravity. You know what I'm saying? There, it's on. Yeah, I know. And there is a little line up here. There's just a little notch in the lid that lines it up perfectly. So you can't put it on incorrectly. See how it rocks? But we can turn it. You see that it sets nice. Now it doesn't rock, but it really just pulls on and off. It doesn't stay seated. Okay, so we put this on. We put our motor on. So we put the oil in afterward. We got to pulse it first. Okay. Okay. Then we got to put it back in the bowl and mix the stuff inside the bowl and then put it in here and then put the oil. Oh, we got to mix it manually. Yes. Okay. So we're going to pulse this now. Yes. Okay. Let's do that. So this is, this is the 450 watt motor pulsing three heads of garlic with two blades and a 16 ounce chopping bowl. More. Oh, I see it. It's looking good, right? It's going to be a little bit more. Okay, wait. Let's scoop down the. Do you, do you want me to put this down and help you? No. Oh, it smells like garlic, yo. It's so good. Uh, Mima's like, will you just let me do my thing, lol? Yeah, I guess I can stand aside, Mima. Do you want to take over? No. You do it. Okay. It's fine. It's that this is okay. It's what do you think? Put the lid on and pulse it again. No, just maybe one more pulse. One that, more quick pulse, boy. Good. Okay, let's one get this. Pulse. Let's let's go. That's one good. of those. Yeah, because that's how it was when my mom gave it. That's right. Me. We didn't purify. We she didn't. Goes, you don't want it like a like a paste. 
Yeah, we didn't pulverize this garlic. You it's got a nice like a paste, so it's got to go Where's, back in um... here. It's got to. Go oh yeah, we can just here. dump it right in here yeah, and show the take texture. Take out the right? the blade. Yeah, we take out the blade. Give it a little knock off. Really easy to pull the blade out. It's just held in by gravity. And then we're gonna pour out all this chopped garlic. Yeah. You might have to use your finger or scoop it with this to get all the. I mean, the little, little small pieces, it's fine. How's that? Pretty good. You can scoop a bit of more of that. Yeah, Do you think good. I should that's scoop good. more out of that? That's good. That's good. So now. Oof. Oh, yeah, it smells good, eh? So, look, we got some nice chopped garlic here. We pulsed it with the single blade, with the single bottom tier blade. Blake's putting it everywhere else but in the bowl. And I'm putting it everywhere else but in the, in the bowl, which is a very important kitchen tip. If you need absolute success, your best rate of success is going to be to not get the actual thing that you're cooking <laughs> in the bowl. That's very important. Well, and I mean, so, yeah. like, uh, what's the, you got it all over the table, trying to keep as much as we can. So we got a nice chopped three heads of garlic here. And now what we're going to do is just add a little bit of water. A, a quarter cup. Of Mima water. says a quarter cup of water. That's what my mom says. Because that's what her mom said. And then she said to use my hands, not yours, because you got big hands. Okay. <laughs> right. So I'll use, I guess I could do a tablespoon. Okay. Now. Next so uh, three heads of garlic, uh, about a quarter cup of water, and then, uh, and then a nice big heaping thing of salt I saw you put in there. A little yeah, more than like a, a tablespoon it looked like. Well, probably. But that just seasons the salt. This is just pulling over here, and that's why. Okay, I have well, to keep I mean, you don't it. need to pull it. That I'll come closer to you. Okay, now it's gonna go into this. I gotta do it slow. So we're just moving the pulp, the the chopped garlic with a quarter cup of water and a little bit of salt into a nice jar. Uh, this is like a uh, what's the name of the jar? It's like a mason jar. A mason like jar. A I couldn't think of the word mason jar. Or whatever you yeah, it's like a small little it. mason jar. Now, ours is well used. Uh, we should get a new lid for this it's soon. Fine. But it's fine. yeah, it's fine. It's still going to hold its seal. And uh, yeah, so this is just literally chopped garlic with a little bit of water, a little bit of salt. Very and then strong. we're going to top it off with a little bit of vegetable oil or canola yes. oil. No, vegetable. It's <laughs> vegetable oil that we're supposed to use. Can I give it a little burp? Give me a, give you want me, me to burp it on the bottom of my hand to level it uh, out? I guess you want the oil to get in I'm there. Gonna You're push gonna mix it down. It? I'm gonna push it down. I got you. Do you want a do you want a presty plastic fork to No, I'm gonna push it down with this. Okay, so yeah, so okay, three I'm heads not, of garlic, a little bit here. of water. Sorry, I'll come closer to you here. So what are you doing now? You're just pressing it down? Just yeah, just to push it down a little bit. Oof. Oh, it smells good. Now, I'm going to eat this straight up on slices of pizza. Mima uses it for cooking. Um, uh, I don't know what else, what other practical applications you it's use it for. It's mainly but. for cooking and marinating. It's I've never eaten it like this. Oh, Lady Bake and Clown Love. That's it. This is it. Randy Dresden says, we love garlic here. Jennifer Lude helped me to remind me that it's called a mason jar. Thank you. Yeah, and now it goes in the fridge. Yeah, and then that's it. Put this lemon it. juice and olive oil equal parts in the garlic and that pulverizer, and you'll have awesome Oops, artichoke dipping sauce. Ooh. Did you hear that? Yeah. That sounds really good. I like artichoke. Sheila B., you'll have to send me that. Let me know if you can send it to me in a message, and I'll try to remember it for Sorry. another time. But, yeah, so this is that. This is what we got here, yo. Check it out. This is going to be three heads of garlic that is chopped nicely with our Ninja food chopper, our 16-ounce food chopper bowl. Uh, Mima just rushed off to the sink to get clean. And, uh, yeah, a little bit of water, a little bit of salt, a little bit of oil is going to help it keep it preserved. And yeah, like like I said, Mima's gonna use it for marinating and stuff. But when this is aged nice, I'm like even right now, it's fine with me, ultra fresh. I'm just gonna smear this all over pizza 
with some delicious hot uh, peppers. Mima's dad gets like it? the chili pepper. Yeah, we it. can show the chili peppers. It's okay. Okay, um, I'm gonna grab it. So this is the garlic with the oil, and everybody take it in, take it in. I'm gonna pass it off to Mima here to put in the fridge now. Here you go, Beeps. And uh, yeah, look and at this. This, this same, one, I'm afraid to touch this. Is this is the same idea. The same idea. Yeah, it's the same you idea. Know, Just the longer it sits, the more the garlic infuses the oil. Right? Yep, that's right. Yeah, that's right. This is just chili flakes yep. and oil and salt, basically, with a little yeah. water like we just did there. And maybe not water. But maybe not water. Oil. oil and salt and chili it's flakes. Hot. This thing burns me, bro. I don't yeah, even like hot. touching it because it makes me feel like I'm you doing the wrong thing. Uh, I'm going to put this in the sink, the lid for the garlic. Yeah, go ahead. i got to do the dishes after. This is just waste? Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, did you want to keep No, it? no, I don't think so. Uh, here, this is for the 16-ounce boy. We're not using that right now. And also, I'm going to pass you these blades, okay? Please be careful when you receive them. Mm -hmm. Watch my fingers, too. <clears throat> okay, so that's that. That is the 16-ounce chopper. Let's switch back out to the wide shot here real quick, and then we're going to move on to our next and final concoction that I'm pretty stoked to try out on the show in real time. It's something that is really simple, but not something that I've ever made before. You want it in a cup or a glass? Um, I'm going to serve mine up in my skull glass today. I'll just I'll dump the... You don't want a bigger glass no, for a delicious, a sweet dessert. That's more than enough. More than enough. Okay, yo. Okay, let's um, let's take a look at this uh, chat real quick. Lemon juice, looking good. Food, food, food. Half cup each, olive oil and lemon juice. That sounds like a lot. Okay, at and eight garlic cloves, pulverized to mayonnaise consistency done or less garlic depending on what you like a half a cup of olive oil a half a cup of lemon juice and eight garlic cloves that's basically like a head of garlic basically mm -hmm. that sounds pretty good mm -hmm. we'll have to try that we could do that we won't do it now because it's like dirty stuff yeah. but we'll have to make that the next time right i love garlic mima said i ate so much of that garlic out of that dang jar a couple weeks ago you could breathe you breathe and it's like it came out of your pores Mima said I ate so much garlic that my skin started smelling like garlic. And that was when we were doing the transfer from putting the room behind us, like switching the studio over to be filming out of the living room. We were over by the window and I was using the Eufy Home Vac H30 to suck up some cobwebs. And she's like, you smell like garlic. I'm like, well, don't make delicious garlic based <laughs> products. That I want to eat. I've drank that jar of garlic. Ew. No, that's a little no, too spicy. Too it's a little too spicy. Okay. Uh, in the interest now of getting ready to finish the show, mm -hmm. let's get our products yeah. out that we need for the final thing. Okay. And uh, you know basically what it all is. Okay. So let's move on here. We're going to keep the show going. We're going to talk about the last and final thing that we got going on. We're done with our products. We're just going to keep talking about the Ninja Blender and demo this again. Now on the show, we're going to go ahead and we're going to make some uh, peanut butter and banana uh, smoothies. We're going to make peanut butter and banana smoothies. I, I don't think that we need the blueberries for the peanut butter banana smoothies. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Sorry. No problem. <laughs> and uh, then also we'll want the ice and I think that and the bananas. bananas. <clears throat> oh, these are frozen for sure. We froze our bananas in chunks because I wanted a little more texture in my smoothie. So hopefully that's not a bad idea. Also, the recipe that we uh, checked suggested that we use ice, two cups. I don't think I got quite two cups of ice, but we're going to run with okay, the ice that we got. And, yeah, we'll use it all. Uh, let's work with it fast so it doesn't start melting. Yeah, absolutely. Do you want to come closer to me? We can be a little more centered if you want to come closer to me. Just my knee is starting to hurt. Oh, you can stay seated as long as you like, but I just wanted to get us centered in the shot. Okay. Um, garlic turns brown when it's bad. Oh, how long does it last before going bad, says Lady Bacon? It won't, it won't go bad as long as there's vegetable oil. Yeah, with the it. oil on the top, it prevents yeah. the air from getting yeah. in and causing any issues with it. And right. the one that you brought last time, I probably... Well, maybe it's I must have had that for over a month. 
yeah, but it was still good. Oh yeah, it was Even really if it good. Went yeah. a little bit brown, like that's normal. For the yeah, oxidization is going to occur, of course, but the oil definitely helps slow that process yeah. significantly. <clears throat> uh, like, I I can't say how long it would last because we eat it before it goes bad. I can say that much. No, Blake eats it before it goes I bad. I love spreading it on pizza. I can't get enough of that fresh garlic with the oil on my pizza enough. <laughs> Holy sh Holy smokes. What are you trying Holy to do? Get some ice out of there? Well, it's stuck this one. Okay. <laughs> it's really stuck. Like I have a copy, then we'll pass it via Facebook DM. Four minutes ago, I already forgot what that was, but whatever it is, thank you for the message. Uh, I know that I will get it. Uh, Stargazer says, my Italian mother-in-law made it occasionally, and we raved. What's for dessert? Uh, what's for dessert is I already said, but this was a few minutes ago. We're going to make some peanut butter and banana smoothies. We've got some honey sweetened yogurt, as well as uh, some coconut milk to kind of... Uh, make a little bit kind of like a pina colada vibe maybe in our in our um, thing so instead of using regular milk we got the coconut milk today we've got two bananas that i broke apart with my hands into large ice cube sized chunks do you think that and we I, should start getting that in there or? yeah we could do it all right now so okay <clears throat> really sparing the cell on the blender because we've already talked about the product this is exactly the same as the food chopper it comes with a nice top that doesn't seal okay when you put it on the top it doesn't stick to it. It will fall off if you go to pour. Uh, so I do recommend that if you do pour out of the pitcher that you hold your thumb on it. I just want to say that. Okay. Pulls off. Now inside we got a big black shaft. And on that shaft you're going to have six individual blades at three different uh, levels. Now this is going to make a lot of air and a lot of friction when you're spinning your thing. But, you know, that's how blenders are. We got to compensate somehow. I don't think you're making a... A banana peanut butter smoothie with a cold fruit juice presser you know what i'm saying so to blend it real nice um <clears throat> excuse me just like the 16 ounce chopper the shaft drops into the bottom of the pitcher really easily now what is dissimilar to the pitcher to the chopper is that the chopper does have the ability to pull one of those blades off the pitcher does not these three tiers of blades are fixed inside the pitcher we put our top on like this. Very simple. It goes right on. We line up our 450-watt Ninja blender motor, and that's it. This is how we set the whole thing up. Really easy, really easy to go. So uh, what was the recipe that we called for in the uh, pitcher? It was all the ice, two cups of ice. Mm -hmm. There's more than two. Oh, no. That'll It'll be all right. Yeah. And then we had two bananas that we broke apart earlier today and froze, so we could have more of a texture. And these are... These are frozen pretty yeah, solid. Good. They still feel a little sure, soft in some good. spots. Oh, thanks. Oops. So two whole bananas, and then how much peanut butter do you remember? I don't know, Blakey. Um, it was remember. it was like two cups of milk, but we wanted to do one cup of milk and one cup of sweetened yogurt to oh, thicken so it up. Oh, so you're gonna need right? the cup. To measure? Nah, I'll just use yeah. our eyes. It's not a big okay. deal. If it's too thin, it's too thin. Okay. We'll we'll still be able to enjoy right. it. Now, but what do you think about and um, about the amount of peanut butter that we should add to the smoothie? Maybe thing? do uh, a a spoonful of that. A big one, big spoonful yes. for both of us. Yes. Okay, like a really good. big spoon. I mean, like a, a like that's good. Think that's yeah, enough? That's more than enough. I think it's the good. peanut butter leaked on the table. Okay, That's so we're going to add a huge dollop of peanut butter. Use your finger to... Oh, sorry for banging the desk. One sec. Okay, so we added like uh, like two heaping tablespoons of peanut butter, I would estimate. And uh, okay, we'll leave that like hmm, that. And then uh, it said one, it said two cups of milk, but we're gonna do one cup of honey sweetened yogurt. It's gotta be like two or three of those, do you think? Maybe do one more. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's enough. Yeah, uh, and then I'm gonna do a little more, okay? Right, and then a cup of milk, I'll just do like half. Yeah. 
And then, uh, and then a cup of coconut milk. You already shook this up. Here, I remember wanna, hearing. Do you want me to get you a measuring thing? That no, don't matter. We'll just use this. Not a big okay. deal. Ready? Yeah. Where's the one cup mark? It should be. They just have a ten cup mark. Yeah. So oh no, here's cups. Here's one cup right here. Okay. So right about here. Yeah. Okay. That's okay. It's gonna pinch to grow. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Okay, cool. So, is, and I think that's everything that we just needed to add to yeah. this. We added frozen bananas, two cups of ice, uh, a few big dollops of honey sweetened um, mm -hmm. uh, yogurt, as well as a big dollop of peanut butter, like two big tablespoons. I think that's probably about enough. You want to blend this up and see how it turns out. Okay, cool. Let's put our lid on the top of this contraption. Okay. And then we turn we it 180 closed. degrees so that we can see the motor facing the front. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we just make sure, you know that when you put the lid on, it's tight because it doesn't spin. Even though it comes off really easily and doesn't hold into place, like with, with friction or whatever, when you put it on, it doesn't spin. That's how you know it's good. Put our motor on. And then, uh, yeah, let's blend up some ice, frozen bananas, and some mm -hmm. other soft ingredients. You ready? Mm -hmm. Oh. It's not in right, Blake. Oh, I see. You don't have it in properly. What part is not in properly? Well, I don't know. It's like, it. how come right here it's not? That's how it is. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Let it go. So it's a really quiet motor. I mean, obviously I'm elevating my voice over the sound of a motor, but this isn't that loud. Now it's difficult for me to gauge how much vibration is going through the table <laughs> and going into the microphone. So hopefully this presentation isn't that loud for you. you want to scoop around? Yeah, let's take it off down. and give it a little push down and see what we got looking at here. Oh, this is looking thick, I yo. Think it needs this is almost looking like a, I, I got this. Yeah, this yeah. is almost looking like an ice cream. This is real thick. Do you think that we should enjoy this in its thick state as such? Or would you like to add some more milk to it to thin it out? Yeah, let's no, try that's it your like decision. This. Let's try it like this. Yeah, I don't Maybe, mind thick uh, things I'll like this. Either. Look at this. This is so Instead, thick. I'll it takes small, a second to come off the I'll come off the spoon. Glass better. I mean, that's that's good. Yeah, that's that good. Looks I good, think right? that's good. So we're not going to be able to really pour this out of our pitcher right now. But uh, we can scoop it out and put it in the well, glass. Well, you can't take it out of the thing. And... What do you mean? Well, I can't pour it out of the pitcher because it's so thick no, it doesn't pour. No, I mean pour. like the, the Well, I'm going to take the blade out yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah. yeah, are we ready to eat this? Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's do it. I mean, if you wanted to make it a little bit more, it's fine. But like, what, what do you think? I don't mind eating it thick like this. Yeah. It's not a problem with me. Do you want to have it a thick ice cream-like smoothie or a thinner one? The thinner means we just add a little more milk to it. No, we'll just keep it like this. Okay, cool. Well, we'll pull our three-tiered blade out and give her a little tap. Just use the spoon to scoop out. We can put this in this bowl? Yeah. Okay, cool. I'll go put this in the sink real quick. Grab oh, my God. It tastes like so much peanut can butter. Can you grab me the peanut butter uh, spoon? From there. I just licked my fingers and all I tasted was peanut butter. You ready for this? I just ah, it tastes so good. I can't wait to eat some of it. If it almost tastes like a, Reese's Pieces. If you pieces. want to grab another spoon to to scoop it. I got this yogurt spoon. Oh, okay, then Is that okay? Fine. Yeah, I don't care. I'm going to get peanut butter just like that. I mean, this is looking a little chunky, but and thick but well, really smells good okay let's cut to the tight camera we'll watch ourselves in here i think we're done blending then yeah can you put this in the sink please mm -hmm. oh i got lots of dishes to do yeah welcome to clown live baby okay let's switch over to the tight shot here what's this oh this was dishes. frozen bananas <clears throat> let's cut over to the tight shot and take a look at the smoothie and then get ready to end this show after yeah. we enjoy this. I'm so glad we got to make everything that we could with the blender today and enjoy the carnitas. Okay. So here's the tight shot. Here's what we made y'all. Here's what we made. We blended. Uh, it's thick. It's thick. Look at this. It's real thick. Yeah, it's fine. It's almost like an ice cream. Okay. I'll put my own in. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'll just go like this. 
I, I guess I should bit. eat mine out of this glass. I feel like I should eat it out of a rounder container because it's so thick. Whatever you want to do. I'll just have a small glass now. I that just I want a little a bit. Yeah, I'll just have a little bit, and then we'll take care of what we want to after the show. Okay, so let's take a look at the chat. I had been neglecting it for a few moments while we got the blender stuff together. It's good. Yeah, does it overwhelming peanut butter or no. well balanced? It's good. Garlic is good for you. Yeah, I know that, Lady Bacon. That's why we eat what we eat. Shucks, I was hoping those baby mason jars were in the carousel. Um, I'll take a look and see if I can find some, and then I'll add these to my cart. But these are just, like, not something that we bought. We just had them for, you know, the little ones probably came from her mother from sending down other spicy and preserved stuff. Uh, Ten minutes ago, Bart says, this has been very fun. Thank you, Bart. You know, we do the two... We do 20 products in two hours, but I was really excited to do this cooking with y'all today uh, for January 1st. And I think you that we might can... want to blend that maybe I, for me. I like it like that. But you I know in the past you said you didn't like the chunks of ice, chunks of ice. Sometimes ch chunks sometimes of ice. chunks of ice do bug me, but I won't complain today. No. Uh, sure, they sell those oil and olives and veggies Look. and peppers in the decorative bottles, and they sit in stores forever. Yeah, I don't know if anybody eats it. I don't think anybody eats those decorative peppers, but yeah, I know what you're talking about. Uh, nine minutes ago, going to head out. Thank you, Rover, for handling our roll call and being our resident moderator. If you're still here from 10 minutes ago, I appreciate that. I'm about to taste this, but I really want to get through my uh, through my chat, and I did. I did here. I did here. Uh, have a nice nap over nine minutes ago, nine minutes ago. Evan says, thank you, Blake and Mima. Awesome live. Have a great night. Yeah, we're done here. Let me enjoy this yeah. dessert with Mima, and then we're going to get out of here. It smells I think that, um, like peanut butter. I think that you um, will want to blend that more. You think so? For me, I like it like this. Well, we put everything in the sink, so it's too little, too late. Okay. Uh, yo, cheers, everybody. Oh, let me move this out of your face. Sorry, Mima. I didn't mean oh, okay. to get you there. There's cheers, some everybody. Big chunks of ice in it. Yeah, I definitely didn't blend it enough. There is some bigger chunks of ice in it. But I got to say, for just eyeing it up real quick, mm -hmm. it has a prominent peanut butter flavor, yeah. but not overwhelming. Mm -hmm. And uh, and the banana levels out the peanut butter just right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of bigger ice chunks in here. Mm -hmm. But... If, I think if we would have blended it a little bit longer, we would have just blasted that ice. Mm -hmm. But this is really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. And albeit healthy, I mean, we got the yogurt with the honey, no sugar, no added sugar. Yeah. I guess the added sugar would just be to our peanut butter and then the natural sweetness of the bananas. Yeah. This is good. And coconut milk. Oh, yeah. That's what I couldn't place my mouth on. I forgot we used the coconut milk to thin it out. Yeah, this is great. That's good. I'm glad that we didn't use all yogurt. Yeah. And maybe in conjunction with blending it a little bit more to break the ice down just a little bit more. Maybe a little bit more of that coconut milk to have thinned it out. But this is really good. Really good. Or we could have just blended that out till all the ice was blended and just have it thick. Like this is delicious. Chip. You already ate all yours? Yeah, I only had this much in here. Oh, okay, yeah, I put a little bit more in my yeah. cup. I'm not going to eat all this on the show. I think we're done here. Yeah. You all make your own spices as well? We got, what's the big tree in the back? Rosemary? Yeah, we have a rosemary tree. I got a rosemary bush. It's Mima's rosemary bush in the back. And uh, I got some mint, but it grows wild. I don't really use it for spices or anything. And then I thought about doing herbs and stuff, but I, I just never have. Sometimes I like growing plants, but sometimes I'm just like, ah, forget it. Not this season. Maybe we should look into growing some herbs and stuff this year. One thing that I wanted to do, I'll wrap up the show with this little anecdote, and then we'll get ready to get out of here. One thing that I did want to do that i never did is grow all of the ingredients for cilantro i'd love that's easy
Grow some onions, grow some tomatoes, grow some cilantro. I said cilantro, but I meant pico de gallo. I want to grow all the ingredients for my own homemade pico de gallo. That will be pretty sweet. Cilantro, garlic, onions, tomatoes, and that's it, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And jalapenos. Oh, and a jalapeno, yeah. So grow jalapenos, onions, tomatoes, and garlic, and cilantro. Yeah, but you know what? It also takes time to run a garden like, uh, you know, it's not like so. Well, we have to attend to it. We have to make sure it gets watered. Okay, wait for this, Sorry. okay? I think that's okay, it. Though. Are you done then? Yeah, are we'll just done? put this here. We'll clean up the show after, all right? Uh, I think that's everything, though. I think okay. we're done here. Yes, Blake. <laughs> you want to come say goodbye to everybody with me? Yeah. Hi, everybody. Thank you for coming in. Yeah, thank you for coming in. Thank you for coming yeah. in to Clown Live, <clears throat> an Amazon Live interactive shopping experience presented to you by Shopping Dragons. We're going to come back. To, I'm going to come back tomorrow. Mima will be at her day job. I'm going to be back here tomorrow at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time uh, to do another episode of Clown Live, and we're going to carry that out all week. So we're done. We're done, y'all. Thank you. Evan says thank you. Bye. Late, late, uh, Lady Bacon says bye. Appreciate you guys sticking around with us until the very last minute. Uh, Randy Dresden, Sheila B., I hope that you feel better. I hope your microwave steak hits the spot. Don't forget to stay well hydrated and eat a bunch of salt at the same time, okay? Uh, Rover, if you're still here, thank you. Uh, and, yeah, Jennifer Lude, 18 minutes ago, thank you for hanging out with us today. And, uh, yeah, everybody else that was with us, I really appreciate y'all. Help Mima with the dishes, Blake. Yeah. Right. <laughs> we, won't, we won't do that. I'll promise you all that. I'll help her with the dishes. No, by... no, no. He won't. I don't want to <laughs> No, no. He don't. I don't want he, his He help. won't do it for you guys. When I, If I ask him to do it, he only puts them in there. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's true. But, I only put them in there. That's it. But I think that's everything now, right, Booty? Yeah. Okay, well, thank you, everybody, for watching us here on this extended episode of Clown Live, celebrating New Year's Eve, uh, New Year's Day. Happy New Year, everybody. I hope that your 2023 is successful, prosperous, fulfilling, and productive, okay? Not necessarily in all those not necessarily in that order, but I love y'all and we'll see y'all tomorrow. I'm done here. I'm hitting end stream. Uh, thank you for saying great show. Uh, shame on you, Blake helper. I'll help her today. I will no, help her today. Okay. She help. doesn't want my help. She thinks I get in the way. So, uh, maybe I'll help her by making more dishes. Nope. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm going to stand up here and pop this boy up like this <clears throat> and just say good night, everybody. Oh yeah. We're down here. Good night, everybody. Thank you for joining us on clown live. I'll be back on January 2nd at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I'll probably come and hang out with y'all in the chats tonight if there's anything going on. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Goodbye, Beebs. Bye. Okay, bye. You sound like the guy from the... Hold on, booty.